you. No, you don't. No, oh, you're going. Really good. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're on. <laughs> I'm there. Hey guys. Hi. We're just... All right. Hi oh, everyone. A little booby. They're like um, really low down, all the way down. All the way down. Your hair looks cute too. A little uh. Oh yeah, I mean, like I actually did it, and then I was like, "I look like shit." It's going up. It's going to go up anyway. So I might as well do it now. Four braids. Um, I don't really care. Um, Jody, don't look at the comments, okay? Like, just okay. don't because okay. I don't want okay, you. Okay. To get I'm going to go to brand. I'm not looking. Yeah, go to brand. Okay. Like until we start, guys. Don't put any more things about the episode in here, because <sighs> this was the best episode of reality tv i think i've ever seen and i am <gasps> shut not up kidding. Shut i'm not up. being hyperbolic really uh, yeah it's uh it's good <laughs> okay oh i can't wait i can't wait um do you like my little christmas decor back here my little dollar spot target can you see love little christmas it. trees I love it so it's much my item was a flare does it still look like i'm taking a shit in the middle of a bathroom <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I actually think it's really funny. I would have left it. Guys, I, I can't see the comments if anyone's saying anything, but uh on an old video of ours, someone said, Why does it look like Jody's in the bathroom taking a shit the entire episode? <laughs> That's funny. And that wasn't me that looked at that fucking. I review, think it's kind of so I mean I can kind of see what they're saying. Well, you just it, it looks very sterile where you are. Like, okay, part I'm not gonna lie, part of me like takes that as a compliment because I'm like, <laughs> Carol, that's kind of what like I aim clean. for in my home. Yeah. Uh, right. No, it's just like soundproof stuff because otherwise I'm in a five by seven room and it's going to echo everywhere like a bathroom. Right. You look both gorgeous. Of our, both, of our, I, both of our mics are fucked up right now. It's that's a why I was late. Sorry. It was a whole thing. You're like a minute late. Um, we, so I, I slept from like eight to 11 last night and then I was just kind of up. And then I slept from about two to three. And then I woke up and I was like, oh my God, sister wise, I have to, I for, I always forget I have to watch it first. And I watched it twice. I've seen this episode twice now. Like, oh, like one full time. And then I went back and watched the, there's just oh a scene God, with wait. Gabe that you, that, that you just need. I mean, I needed to kind of keep processing it. Is it going to help me forget his womanly hips? It's gonna, I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna need like Kleenex probably. I have those. Or right here. Doogie needs to be on hand for you to like give like a big hug to. Okay. Like I've been after watching lots of it, I wanted week. like a like young, you want a, like a young child to hug. <laughs> Just tell them that I okay. love them. Oh. Uh, we well, got Walter, Walter back there. Walter's yeah. Here. There he is. Say hi, Wally. Stinky. Sound engineer Wally. I like, I gotta get a you fine sweatshirt. I really like that. Is that like the heathered gray? I it's like Heather that. gray, yes. Mm. And this is an Bring extra large. Though. It's a little form fitting. I wish I'd gotten a double, but no, um, it looks really good. You look really tiny. You are tiny though. You're so tiny. You are so tiny. <laughs> okay. so tiny. Um, I'm gonna open my fresca now because I'm kind of thirsty and I know. I, mean, we're I, so might professional. Even, I might I'm eat not... an orange during this, so oh God, everybody relax. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a it's a completely silent thing to eat, but I might okay. eat this orange. <laughs> um, so I just have to say, I, okay, I have to put this up. You did not get the reference, the cover for this episode, and I'm not looking at the comments. Did no, I else got this it. Reference? I got it. Let like this morning. Because I kept looking at it. I'm like, why am I? And then you seemed pissed off at me that I wasn't getting it. Well, You're okay. like, fine, I'll change it then. And I'm like, no, I didn't see that. <laughs> Just I've never seen it. Speed. I know. Again, everyone relax. I've never You've seen never it. never seen like... Speed? You should no. watch Speed today. That is one of my favorite movies. It's geed. Eh, eh. I'll pass. It's good. Mm. Actually, Paige and I started going through and binging all of the uh, Christmas episodes of The Office last night. We're just doing, just skipping oh, through all the Christmas cool. episodes. You know, get us in the spirit. A little nifty gifty. Also, guys, I got that it was speed. I just didn't get, <laughs> I didn't get why it was funny. 
Because well, Ariel no, was in the middle. Come on, just look at her. Fire because yes. that's how they arrived. Yes, I finally got that. <laughs> By the way, that was last Thanksgiving when Mary dared to bring a little joke Rice Krispie Treat turkey. Uh oh. Have Robin. you seen that clip with the girls in the background with Aurora and Brianna? No. I think why? I sent it to you. Are Someone slowed it down. Is? Yeah. Brianna turns around. She's like, looks at Aurora like, I, I hate that, that I used to like Bri Brianna. You're really putting you're you're really a. Uh, I turned when I here. saw that look on her face and that thing. She was like, "There's also a clip that's out there about when Caleb and Maddie first reveal <gasps> Evie." Yeah. Yes. Evie. That one, I feel like I'm like I'm like okay. I think Brianna's more just like whoa. Well, it shows that Robin didn't tell her ahead of time. Right. Because she was like, oh, with her fingers. I don't think she, she was, was like, making fingers. fun of her. She was trying to understand. No, she wasn't. But she looked very horrified. Because, again, they don't Ew. have exposure to outside yeah. stuff. Right. <sighs> uh, I watched the More to Love episodes. There was a couple that aired last night where they replayed the episode. And then there's just like, oh, there's one or two little 20-second segments. There really wasn't anything too shocking in there. Besides Janelle telling Christine after the knife in the kidneys right. episode, after they left, she was like, yeah, I kind of saw things going that way. And that's why I was like, oh, no. I mean, you know. Well, I mean, Janelle's uh, like, Janelle's trying to play like Christine never told her anything. She's like, well, I kind of had an idea because, you know, I come here and do my laundry. So I thought, right. uh, you know, maybe something was going that's on. That's the extent of our relationship. Yeah, the, they, yeah. they released... Like TLC released all these ep um, clips this week of just Cody and Janelle talking at the table. Did you watch any of those? No, no, because I try not to watch them. Um, right. I, I had watched all of them and I was like, this is going to be like the fucking, this is like the scene of the episode. And it's. It's not. They. I mean, TLC I remember so way good. in the beginning where she said, um, sorry, my nail just ripped off, um, where he said something like, you and I haven't been acting like a married couple for a long right. time. So I thought that that was going to be the entire, like, that was going to be, like, the big focus of the episode. Yeah. The TLC is so freaking good that they release these to be like, here's a little nifty gifty for you all. Mm. And then, I mean, just I mean, to taste. Jody, Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Why don't you just buy the whole thing? Just no, I just want to taste. <laughs> just <laughs> By the way, uh, good morning to my Auntie Debbie, who has bronchitis. <gasps> She's listening right now. Auntie Debbie! You really landlord. need to kick your feet up and let Amanda do some work around that condo, Auntie Debbie. <laughs> she is working you to the bone. Hey, I don't ask for any of this <laughs> I would live oh. in just like a dark room if I could. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sweet that you have all this loving family around you. I think it's great. Yeah. Uh, okay. We have two minutes. Let's, I just kind of want to look at the comments here because there's like. I It's tempting. I already see 74, but you're telling me not to touch. So I won't touch. Uh, someone said something about fat people, but then I lost the comment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> It's probably about me. <laughs> um, not me thinking, oh, okay, 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 okay. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. We're good. Um, I don't know. What else? Anything else going I on bought, with you? Um, yeah, actually, I'm kind of like Christine. I bought a new mattress, and I bought a new bed and a box spring that's going to get delivered. Does it feel so good? Yeah. Like, are you going to feel um, very just, like, released? I think so. Yeah, I'm more like worried about like the others. I'm, I'm like Christine. No, like, you I, are I Christine. My, well, <laughs> Christine. You're 100. percent We talk more about it on Patreon, but uh, yeah, you shall you not know, be guys. named is absolutely Cody. Yeah, well, maybe not as bad because he like actually loves our children. <laughs> Where Cody's like, right? Uh, but I, I, I'm a, I'm very much a mama bear friend with yeah, you okay, that I'm like, I, I don't believe. All right. Um, uh, okay, let's go. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Let's go live. Aww. It's happening. I'm going to let you handle it, babe. Okay. This is where I always panic. I'm like, uh, dun, what do dun, I do? Dun, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Do it. Uh, okay. We'll be back. See you guys in a second. <laughs> 
Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can I look it's at the comments nice. yet? Hey guys, welcome to We Love to Hate Everything, especially Cody Brown. Yeah, just guys in the if you're gonna comment, I mean, please keep please comment all you want. Don't okay. give away any spoilers to Jody because she hasn't seen it and I have. And this is, I mean, again, not to be hyperbolic, but this is the best episode of reality TV I've ever watched. The amount they squeezed into this thing, and it was like you're pissed off, and then you, you then you're sad, and then you laugh. Like it was just a like they end it with a very hilarious scene. Like I promise you that my neighbors heard me cackling in my room at four thirty a.m. because I always keep the windows open because I run. Auntie hot. Debbie, get ready for some phone calls <laughs> from uh... Auntie Debbie. Probably heard me from a few blocks away cackling. Amanda's Auntie Debbie is listening. Yes, Landlord to the stars. <laughs> you know, um, we got the big guns in here today, guys. Oh, I'm super, super excited to watch this. Right. I mean, uh, this really, this should go down as the best documentary series of all time. We have I mean, 17 seasons of this family that really, from literal birth to, well, hopefully no one dies. Well, well, I mean, that handsome woman, okay. Cody's mom. Uh, okay, well, let's, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I, 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 I I'm not glad she died. Really. I'm just saying she was a handsome woman. Did she die? I'm pretty sure Cody's mom died. No, I think his other mom. Oh, Janelle's Mary's mom dead. Died. Janelle's mom. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, the handsome woman done. continues on, I think. But uh, I have a few things to uh, touch in on here. Yes. Um. Okay, so... Uh, Christine gave an interview last week or a couple days ago. I heard on Kate Casey's Kate Casey. podcast, which I right. was on uh, a long, long sure. time ago. Right. We yeah. won't talk about that, but, uh, <laughs> but, but it was a very good interview. Oh, good. And Christine was it, like, it gave a lot of like good telling information. I feel new so information. I Not really, but it was oh, like, okay. just, I mean, but I mean, she fucking hates him. She hates him so much. I was gonna and say, is, I mean, if I were her, I'd be going down. It would be to, oh, good. To spread it. Yeah, she's spreading the news. Um, oh, good, good. And it was good. And um, one of the things that I wrote down that she said that was very interesting to me was that Janelle, um, so she told Janelle, like in Vegas, in Vegas, that's a lie. But uh, in Vegas, was so she, happy in Vegas. You guys just she, don't talk. You know, yeah, she and Cody's really they they went on dates as Ariola. I so saw you go on dates and they were fun. <laughs> Again, you can be in a terrible relationship and still have really fun times. So yeah. anyway, um, but she's she told Janelle in Vegas that she wanted to leave, and Janelle sat her down and was like, That's fine, but you will not do anything until you are hundred percent financially stable. So I think that's I mean, She's I I mean, love Janelle, Janelle. Janelle is bae. This whole episode is just, I mean, Janelle. Is she wearing my favorite this, green coat? Yes. Her she's wearing the jacket? green coat. Oh, God, I and, want that And jacket. they're, they're okay. at Fat Olive or something in uh, Flagstaff. I've already downloaded the menu. Fat Olive. It's like my and favorite the whole, joke that I do with my kids all the time. The okay. whole time they're talking, Janelle's just like, like just the most like oh so it's not like, like a devastated it's like a 
No, it's oh, like a... you do. Mm. Yeah, and like I okay. just I'll spoil this one thing because it is very funny. But at one point, they're having this super serious conversation of like, should we even stay together? And then like they're they're really into it. And then Cody goes, I I, uh, I just want to I'm going to start eating before it gets cold. And then she's just like, okay. And then the, they just let it play while he like unwraps his his silverware and then just like no. takes a bite and she's like what a freaking monster i mean so i would have obvious. a very tough time i mean i could tell fat olive that's gonna be some really good food but yeah honestly no, I at that at rate, i'd rather <laughs> wrap it up i'm gonna go home and just right. like binge the hell just gorge myself with this food Ugh. and hate him all the way oh god he is very aggressive with his body language yeah he, he like yeah. leans forward and he's like no. because she asked him a very good question at that moment i won't even spoil it but the reason he leans in like that is because she asked him a very good valid question and he's like baffled by it so he just starts like yelling at her you and me steen have not acted like a married couple for years well, it's really Janelle's fault. She should really just lean into the patriarchy. It's a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Please, I, mean, yeah. I mean, most of you are ladies here. It's just a lot easier, like, if we just ignore our feelings and thoughts and just go with whatever Obey. the man says. Be obedient. Loyal. Loyal. I think most of us have gone through, like, many breakups and, like, horrible divorces and stuff like that. And I well, think we fault. can all... We can all agree that if we had just been submissive, it would have been fine. Yeah. I mean, it, it, that is actually a valid point. Like, I mean, I know that if I had just been submissive to Bacon Fingers, my ex-boyfriend, who we call Bacon Fingers, like, I, it would have, he, we would still be together. He tried to gaslight you into believing yes. eating oh. raw bacon is a way that bacon is supposed to be eaten. No, this is a thing people do, Amanda. Like a prosciutto or a salami, but it's, it's, a, it's a bacon. It's a fine delicacy. Oh, God, chill that. <laughs> okay. Disgusting. I saw, uh, speaking of gaslighting, I saw an article that said that gaslighting is the term of the year. I believe it. Was like it. It's a little overused sometimes. It is though. overused, but I'm glad that it's out there because I think it also triggers... Oh, that's People another one. Gaslight so much triggers. Trig triggers another one. Yep. But like, like I guarantee you that that triggers Cody's. Well, I mean, Cody just learned the word this year or two because he keeps saying it, and he but he doesn't know how to use it. But I just think it's so interesting that it's like out there now, and like I think men or women who gaslight, they that's the last thing you want to be accused of, right? Well, the ones that do it. Exactly. Not ever think that they're doing it? No. I was gaslighting be, bacon fingers. Right. They also tend to be the other big word that <clears throat> is tossed around everywhere: a narcissist. Oh, oh they everywhere. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The buzzwords. It's a lot. It's a lot. No, for sure. But they're valid in the cases of when you watch Cody interact. If you do again, all of us are doing a rewatch. I feel most, of, yeah, most of the audience is doing a rewatch, and when you just watch it and how much he really is gaslighting everyone, it, the audience, yeah, yes, and especially how we were talking about at the end of last week's episode, where he doesn't even know why he's mad or if he's sad. He just gets himself in this circle. I think that's why I'm pissed off. That I know yeah. that that's why I'm pissed off. Yeah. Thank you for staying and thank you for leaving or whatever the hell you say. He can't even God, he's such an idiot. Yeah, he just Ugh. starts talking and then he just lets he just lets the words come out. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I'm looking at some of these comments. You guys are all like, yeah, I mean everyone is on the same page here. Yeah, Cody. Cody is Yeah, I mean, I mean this is well, my the reason I said that is that I think that any like um, therapist or any uh, like college or university should watch this show and use him as like, so oh, yeah. this is what a narcissist look like. This is what gaslighting is. Like, I think he's just the perfect example of it. Yeah. Yeah. When they're all sitting there on the patio, what was the thing that Christine was doing? Gray 
gray space, gray, gray wall. rocking, gray rock. Yeah. Yeah. That's another great example. Like mm -hmm. which. Yeah. I'm I wish listening. I had, I wish I had had the knowledge of that like years ago. Yeah. With I mean, so I think, many men. That's, I think she gets the satisfaction or the payoff of it because the world is now seeing it. I think it would be hard oh, to feel totally. vindicated if you're not but getting in that the moment public. when Cody says the word kidney to you, when he almost killed your child mm. through a kidney Wait. failure. <laughs> Wasted. God. <laughs> Robin's like <laughs> trying to blink out some tears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. Dictionary yeah. textbook. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. Nar Narcissist is an overused word, but when we're talking about sister wives, this does need to be a safe space. That someone just said. Yeah, absolutely. This, this, it, it, it applies to Cody. He is the uh -huh. definition of all of these things. <laughs> oh, Justine Elizabeth. Oh, Hi, Justine. Hey. My darling. Yeah. Mm, I think he might be still doing the steroids. Remember he was doing like steroids and like protein powders and all that kind of God, stuff. I just, so remembered, get like, I just remembered a moment from this episode that you are going to. Is he, <laughs> is he jamming on the wand of Pachabell? Yeah, Mary Jane, we no, talked about a little bit. I, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to say anything else. I mean, the ups and downs of this episode. And there's still one episode left after this. Oh, that's right. But we don't know about after that. Right. There is a de there is definitely at least a tell-all. So we know good. that for sure. Yeah, that's been that's been like <sighs> okay. So wait, hold fire. on. Let's look at a calendar because where do where do where do the holidays fall? <gasps> Shoot, I don't know. It might on a Sunday, so there's so might, an episode that night. No, but it might. They might. They're not gonna. No, they won't. They, no, they won't. Jody, they played a 90 Day Fiance on Christmas last year. A new one? Yes. Or was it like an unseen footage? No, it was a 90 Day Fiance. Okay. They don't give well, a shit. we saw the 18th, and they're not gonna play one on New Year's. Well, New Year's Day they might actually. I think they're gonna do it. I think okay. th this show is I mean, like freaking. I'm all for it. Oh, I'm all for it too. Yeah. Are we going to do an episode on Christmas, though? Um, well, probably not. We'll probably have to move it to Monday. We'll figure it out. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I'm going to Daphne's house. I'm doing Christmas Eve. I'm making... We, we, discussed, we discussed it and solidified it. Okay. I'm making a mac and cheese. I'm going to look at TikTok. If anyone has an amazing mac and cheese recipe, let me know. Um, I'm going to make mac and cheese. A green bean casserole, because it's not a thing in Canada. So I, I think I'm going to have to order fried onions from the U.S., literally. You don't have French's fried onions? No. That's insane. Okay. And then I'm going to make a frittata in the morning. Then we're going to drive to Daphne's house, all of us together, and sleep over. And then I'm oh. going to make a frittata in the morning. And then, oh, uh, th then she's making, like, you know, Christmas dinner. Oh, look, ask Gary. Gary from Teen Mom. Oh, oh, tomatoes, Gary. You grab those Amber's mom. Oh, Bethany says Canadian Costco has fried onions. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, that's where I got right. mine last year. Oh, crab mac and <gasps> cheese with that might be good. Icing, sugar. icing sugar. What are we Oh, missing? because remember when I accidentally <gasps> put Oh, like icing sugar. Right, right, Powdered sugar. Yeah, you use powdered yeah, sugar. Yeah, guys, for anyone flour. who doesn't know this anecdote, <laughs> I made this amazing Thanksgiving my dinner for story. myself like a couple of years ago. Mm. And then and then I'm, I'm, I'm like, I got to make this gravy. And then my mom gave me, because I'm really bad at making gravy. So, but I got it. I got the roux going with like the flour yeah. and the, like the, you know, the drippings and stuff. Yeah. And then I just fucking poured it all over everything and i took a bite and it was very sweet and it turned out i no, had used you go you said to me the way you said it to me you go i was tasting everything and i thought everything tastes like candy <laughs> <laughs> you just kept tasting like i was so upset i was really depressed that day i remember being oh. sad 
Well, yeah, like, because you said you poured the gravy over everything, so everything, everything was ruined. I made one huge plate of, of food, and there was mac and cheese oh. on there. Oh. Suck. So I won't That's do that. Uh, anyway. Yeah. What else? I'm going to see Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen, Amanda, on Saturday. I love that show so much. It's controversial for some reason, but I think the music is amazing. Remember when I thought it was about a a young teen boy who was coming out as gay and his gay lover died. And then his family found out that he was the dead kid's gay lover. I feel like a lot of recent music. I just assume that's what it was. I mean, it's very misleading. Um, oh, yeah. oh, uh, to, um, to update, Howie the Crab still has not... Multiple. Oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing Three. this. With Howie. I'm not doing it. 22 days now. Oh, well, okay. She should be arrested for animal torture. You don't <laughs> buy something to eat at the grocery store and then try to keep it alive. That's insane. That woman um, should be locked up. Lock her up. Lock her well, up. So everyone on TikTok is like following Howie. We're all no, like not everyone on TikTok. <laughs> you and the whatever good other weirdos that are into animal torture. I don't even like crap. Throw it away. It's garbage. It's expired seafood at this point. But okay. So then, but also, Noodle, the pug, has passed away. So RIP to Noodle. I don't know Noodle. What, Noodle what was that, that ugly that one that was like, I Bones or was, no bones. Oh, God. What was that fucked up dog's name? <laughs> it was like really ugly. It had like no limbs and... Oh my Half god, does anyone know who we're something. talking about? It was like a dog that it, just like like four hair, like wiry hairs sticking out of it. It sleeps yeah. in a bed under a blanket. It's it like did, a very it pass away, but, New York, yeah. New Jersey kind of lady would go in. She'd be like, Good morning, Freddy, or something like that. Then it'd be like rah, 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 rah. Heady on wheels, Sarah Snyder oh, says. Oh god. <laughs> is it still alive? No, it's not. Oh, oh. Hold on, you know what time it is, guys. <gasps> Smash, Smash that, that look. Look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, smash that like for Eddie, the ugly dog. That's right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Already, I, I mean, this feels was, like a fever a whole, dream. I was obsessed with that channel, with that creator or whatever how you say it too and i would send it to jody every morning and she'd just go nope no no you're still sending me <laughs> howie no i'm not opening it because it's gonna mess up my algorithm but thank god i almost don't want to say it and jinx it but thank god that that little baby with the head like the deformed head that was so sad i know but why oh i don't know dude I just want a guilt-free night of swiping away, and then I see a, oh, God. Okay, so, okay anyway. So, yes, okay, but yes, everyone is upset about Noodle. I know Noodle. Like, I I actually was kind of annoyed by no the whole Noodle thing. The, it was like, the, it was the guy that he would go, is it a, um, is it a bones or no bones day today? And then he would, like, hold the dog up, and it, it would fall over, or it would stay up. And people just, like, fucking followed it every day. And it was coming up on my <sighs> algorithm too much that I was like, all right. But uh, I do feel bad. It was a pug. Yeah. Very cute. Okay, That's but sad. speaking of TikTok. I mean, it's sad. Also, it's sad. Uh, listen, if anyone knows me, I love um, I love animals more than anyone. Any Like any person in the world. I would, oh, I would, yeah. I would like probably like push <laughs> Push you out of the way for Howie the Crab. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I might. But I'm just mentioning this. Okay, but. How dare you? Before we get into everything, I, I do want to talk about this because, again, this is an episode of Love to Hate and Everything. So we're trying to kind of, uh, you know, discuss yeah. what's going on. Yes, Lori. I think it might have been. Okay. I, I stumbled on this the other day and I. No, we're talking about Sister Wives. Everybody calm down. We're going to get into Sister Wives in a second. I just want to discuss a couple of things that have happened. This week. <laughs> All right. I stumbled onto this TikTok algorithm of um, dr in a dream. Or in a, did you follow Yeah, that? you were talking about this. I don't, okay. Yeah. 
And now I'm scared to go to sleep. So if you're in a dream, you ask someone in your dream, what What's time the date is it? And time? Yeah. And then what's supposed to happen? The person will say to you, you're not supposed to know that. And then you'll wake up and in, in a, what's it called? Cold sweat? Lucid dream? No, not, oh, no, where you're like frozen. Oh, uh, um, sleep paralysis. Yes. Then you'll wake up in sleep paralysis. So now I'm terrified. Thank you, SJ. Because, oh, thank you, SJ. But uh, I, I feel like uh, if I was in a dream, I would not, I would not be able to stop myself from asking because I would just do it. I think you're going to just like, I, I'm with Jasmine. Yeah, fine. Go to sleep. Just don't ask I, it then. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? Yes. Remember when I had pneumonia and I, I think I was on some sort of narcotic and I thought the humidifier was like a ghost saying my name over and over again. And I was having a full panic attack and I screamed for Dave to help. I was like, oh, but I couldn't because I was in sleep paralysis yeah, I've had it. It's terrifying. I've had it twice. I remember one time I was like five years old and I woke up and the witch from Snow White was in my bedroom and she turned around just slowly oh and stared at me and I could not move. And I, I, I'll i never forget that. It might be my first memory, actually. Was that also the same day that you saw a unicorn on your grandparents' farm? No, that, that, was, that was actually real. But mm -hmm. I also okay. had, I wrote, okay, this, okay. Well, okay. Well, I was in a hotel. I was at a, I was I was sleeping in a hotel room because the house that I was renting in uh at ASU had mold and then I got walking pneumonia from that. Uh, but anyway, the landlord had to like rent us out a hotel to use the bathroom because the mold was just all in the bathroom. Mm, so we fine. couldn't use the bathroom. So we got college. We to, yeah. We to use, yeah. We had to use the hotel across the street. So I was sleeping there and I, I specifically remember I was watching the Terry, like Terry Shivo coverage. Terry Shivo and Charla Nash. Charla Nash. Every week. I, I've never stopped th thinking about that. But I remember Again, I was watching it and then I just like, I took a nap and I woke up and I could only see out of like a little tiny patch oh, no. of my eyes. And I knew I was asleep and I could not get out of it. And I was just like, uh, I was just watching. I'm Terry Shivo. I'm Terry Shivo. I was oh, Terry Shivo. I will never let you be Terry Shivo. I promise. Yeah, just. I promise. I will. I would like kill you so much earlier <laughs> than that would ever happen. Would you kill me or Howie the Crab first? Oh, I mean, like Howie. I, Howie would have been in the garbage last week composting if it were okay. not to me. All right, let's do sister wives because people are freaking out on the chat. All right, all right, let's do this. <laughs> Uh, do you oh want to read God. the? It sounds script? terrifying, Lizzie. Hold on, I watched half an episode of Glee and sleep paralysis. Okay, done. done. Just, Doesn't even need to listen. Anymore. Just end it. Pull the plug <laughs> at that point. By the way, I'm gonna stop talking shit on my dad because he came and like jumped my car battery the other night, and it was like the biggest comedy of errors. Aww. And it was, and I felt so bad for him, and. I mean, he's actually a pretty good dad, I guess. He is. He does love you. Everyone he shows, shows his love, his love in different and, ways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But I mean, he was. And then as he walked away from me, he goes, I mean, this was at like, it was pitch black outside. He's trying to jump my car. He couldn't get his car up close enough. So he had to like drive through these two trees. And oh, he was geez. just, he kept having to go inside to like warm up his hands. And then oh. as he walked away, I'm like, I'm like, do you want to come in? Do you want like a drink or something? Or do you want a glass of wine? And he's like, no, I've been getting these uh, dizzy spells lately. Well, bye. And I was like, what? And then he drove home in and the dark with home. his dizzy spells. Spell. Auntie Debbie, come on. No. No. Auntie Debbie didn't offer to chauffeur him home. I Uber didn't even, home no, I didn't even tell her. I didn't, want, I didn't want to start anything. I just. She was busy to... folding your laundry. So you're like, I'm not going to yeah. bother. Yeah. Busy painting like the roof. All right. Uh, read oh us the gosh. description here. Yes. Dads, I agree. Dads have different love languages. Yeah. No. And yeah, he's exactly. gone through like his childhood was. Fucked up, but anyway, he's 
he he really did help me out the other yeah. day. So I'm gonna lay off on him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> My father shows love's an act, it uh, love and acts of service. Exactly. Yep. Totally agree. And I always feel guilty because like Catholic. Oh yeah, yeah. what's that Catholic. like? Oh. Like if somebody does something for me, I'm just like. I feel guilty for the rest of my life. Don't oh, you? Oh, like you're going to give him a kidney, right? You're like, yeah. oh, well, Don't how much blood do you need? Kidneys, Jody. Oh. Kidneys. What's right. that? Did you read okay. the description? Okay. I will. Season 17. Oh, my God. The little clip that they have of Robin just sitting there. I know. Like, oh, I know. I'm in a God. God. Season 17, episode Lucky 13. Corona apocalypse. Now that Christine has left the family, big problems with Cody and Janelle's marriage bubble to the surface. Before they can address them, however, Cody and Robin both get COVID-19. Robin ends up in the hospital wondering if she's going to survive Cody. <sighs> hey, Robin. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, fine. I honestly don't think i've seen somebody act this way i've had covid twice possibly mm -hmm. three times i just didn't test the third time i thought i had it but i've had it twice and i was also you're fine i was fine also, oh i can't I have, wait to see this i was i'm vaccinated so that also helps but uh, god you should you wait till you see her she also looks the best she's ever looked in years when she's in the hospital because well, she hasn't taken like a piece of charcoal to her forehead right and i think they're, they probably like gave her like water or something some kind of vitals so that she has some color in her skin ah yes ah yes all right oh god the little picture they use god it looks starting at 0.00, .00 seconds oh wait 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 hold on hold on <laughs> before everyone's we didn't read the comments on instagram Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's do that. No, for sure. Because I, actually, I also, we're just yeah. a to get to it. Because I have a little, uh, I have an Easter egg for this. Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh. It's time to read Robin's Instagram comment. Oh, look what came up on my Instagram right away. ABC Seven Chicago. A five-year-old girl was attacked by an aggressive raccoon while waiting for the bus. I told you they're vicious. She the mom just different. picked it up by the neck. You guys go to ABC7 Chicago Instagram. <gasps> the bot is holding it by the neck like this. Oh, hell no. I, I would have, well, I would have grabbed my kid and then punted that thing. She's just, oh my God, she just lofted it. <laughs> okay, you got to okay. go look at it. Sorry. Focus here, Jody. This is very important. I'm sorry. All right, let's okay. go to Robin Robin Brown's Nest Instagram. Mm, Cody. Oh, she's sitting on her daddy's lap in the picture. Didn't that, that changed. That was not there before. What? Was she oh, always yeah, sitting in her dad's her lap? <gasps> so she went in there and changed the picture. So she does. She's look reading. Her She's reading. Uh -huh. Let the comments go. <gasps> First comment that comes up was from last week, I think. Hi, Amanda and Jody. <laughs> Still comes up first. All right, go well, ahead. Later on in the episode, we're gonna check out Cody's Instagram because uh, there's a comment I want you to see. On Ooh, that. okay. All right, um, Robin Brown's nest. Uh, which 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 post do you want to look at? Because I mean, there's bad, there's shitty comments on like everything. Oh you, my god, they're go so good. Everything you do be in love. Um, no, I'm just gonna go. Wow, must be nice to wear two hundred dollar Tory Burch slides when you don't even have a job. You came up real nice, user. I like that. Next one, pay Janelle back. Hey, you need to be searching for a job. All we want is the Christine and Janelle spinoff. No one, and say this as nicely as I can, no one wants to see you and Cody. Next one. God doesn't like people who kick dogs. <laughs> you are so overly dramatic. You really like playing the victim when you need to accept that you are the cause of it all. In the hospital dying of COVID, but still filming yourself for your show? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just when I thought I couldn't dislike you anymore, LOL, you show us another reason to detest you. You kicked an innocent dog and Cody hates dogs. That tells us everything we need to know about the two of you. Mm. Okay, let's... Emotion. 
Oh, thank you, Justine. Kanda da. Um, oh, okay, let's look at Lady Robin Bird. And let's okay. go. Let's take turns here. All right. Yeah. Okay. Number one. Yes, Janelle, go there with him. Number two. Yes, something is fundamentally wrong. Three, dog hair versus Cody's hair. Number four, don't conform, Janelle. Five, Robin versus COVID was too long. Number six, Gabriel. That's crying emoji. Seven, why didn't he leave the house when wifey got COVID? Number seven, Cody treats his wives differently but wants them to all be the same. Eight, what is, what is it with this loyalty tick? Number nine. In Christine's words, Janelle fills her own damn tank. Ooh. Okay, you read one last one. Okay. Oh, let me find a good one. Ooh, brown-eyed alien is going off. By the way, guys, these are all from less than 10 hours ago. These oh, are yeah. all from just this episode, Ari. Yep. Um, okay, here we go. Um, do you kick helpless dogs with love? Oh, okay, that's everyone's still talking about the dogs. Uh, you and your kids were not kind. That look on the face was not the same look you had on your face, but you did not encourage them to hug their sister truly or Christian. That would have been open the door to so much love, but you lead by example negatively. <laughs> Again, the unhingedness of these comments. Oh my God. Oh, there's one that's just got six snakes going oh yeah <laughs> you kick dogs and push babies you are a chestnut kidney beans and a peanut you are nuts maybe anyway okay well there we go um yeah. there's our but paypal keep your instagram link up. Just keep your instagram up and maybe check out cody win brown's instagram uh, oh, as we okay. go through this episode because uh we're we're gonna we're gonna check in on that in a second okay we're in Got you it. know i'm getting there. a couple hours when we get to it all right now we're starting 0. 0.00 seconds it's happening jody i cannot wait for you to watch this cody win brown Oh, I got the plans. You want to see him? All right, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I'm still awesome. dealing with a whole bunch of divorce bitterness. Yeah, I'm kind of in this mm, sort of nasty place that all women are bad. We won't build until we've done this subdivision. Janelle needs somebody who'll break their back to get this project done, and that's not me right now. Men don't love people back who don't respect them. Oh, did, did you write? Right, sorry. Uh, yeah, let me. Yeah, I got that down. Idea. Oh, yeah, such good shit. tips good tips yeah no he, yeah he's really he's helping us women become well, better we're people stupid we're, we're, oh, i do some meal mm. <laughs> why did you and i break up but it's not okay. enough anymore here it is janelle and her kids are on one side and robin and cody are on the other hi christine good luck bye thank you I for single God, the look on those kids' faces. Sorry. I mean, I know it's not their fault, but. And then there's there's Truly in her. Oh, uh... oh, we just oh, see fingies. <laughs> oh! There's Truly in her, uh, in her trench coat. Or where the world is Carmen, Carmen San Diego. Dun, 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 it's dun, just... dun, dun, dun. Like, oh, she wears a larger crazy. size of jacket than I do. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's probably Tony's. Love you guys. We're out of here. We're out of here. Love you guys. We're out of here. What a fucking asshole. Yeah, just... all your kids are also there. You can still hate her and be an okay person. We get the it. You're unhappy. The majority you have to of it. Like I've watched so many people go through breakups and divorces and you just have to suck it up sometimes. Yeah, you don't have to pout 24 seven. Right. You act like a jerk. We get it. You're not happy. Grow up. Women though, Jody. <sighs> Disrespecting men. What is it? The maniverse or whatever? The uh, manosphere. Manosphere. Can yeah. see that stupid female brain of mine. You're again. so dumb. dumb You're dumb. a woman, though. Um, yeah, by the way, sector, guys, yeah. um, 
was I going to say? Oh, I, I forgot to say, uh, smash that like. And also, if you are doing a rewatch on this, it would help us so much if you just watch, let the ads run. I know. It's Go to the bathroom, get a, grab a drink, just, you know. Just and by the it. way, iced coffee with a little bit of generic Bailey's. Mm, I got a Scrooge. Oh, the Bailey's was right on the bottom there. Oh, it's good. Didn't mix it up very much. Babe. That's a bartender trick. If somebody says um, that their drink isn't strong enough, the bartender will just pour a little bit of alcohol into the straw so that when they take their next sip, it'll be like pure <gasps> alcohol. Ooh. And then they'll think that you like actually did it. Yeah. You little deceitful dog, you. By the way, I'm applying for bar uh, no, bartending, uh, serving jobs this week. <gasps> you excited. Dad. I think you have got to be making such good tips when you serve. Yeah. I I'm saying because like, you're like super likable and like. Oh, me. I'm, no, yeah. I'm good at it. And yeah, I also, I just saying. want a job where I don't care. Like where yeah. I just clock in, clock out. Right. You don't have to like you know? take work home and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because yeah, otherwise I'm just like, <laughs> just sitting at home waiting for you to finish your job so, so we can record. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm really mad about it. I'll tell you guys right, more in a couple weeks. I actually really love it. Okay. Okay. We're at 50 seconds. I'm feeling betrayed. I can't imagine what Cody's feeling. I hate mess. Cody is now questioning me. He still has us. And he still has marriages with us. And he still has to fix them and figure them out and get over his anger enough to actually interact appropriately. Or he's going to ruin every single one of them. Meaning you, because you have to listen to him bitch and complain. Your fault. Guys, eyes on Janelle's green jacket this episode. I have been searching for a year for this thing. Are you hearing all of the action that is going on outside here? No. There was like a yapping dog, and now there's like a helicopter circling. I think there must be like an ex escaped convict uh, or something yeah. <laughs> now somebody's like trying to get their car started i can't hear anything okay good because you, you could probably hear my kids and the dog and everything we're all moms here we're all these yeah. dumb ladies here yeah. <laughs> it's been just over a month since christine left so we got logistics of getting truly here Oh, by the way, Cody's hair journey through this episode is hilarious. Okay, because it's extra curly hair. This is like very but, like, fresh. Fucked it's, it's fucked up here. Like this it's, looks like he just rolled out of bed. Like, but for him, I think and he thinks this is a good hair day. This is a good question. Oh, sorry. Are you grabbing it? No, go for it. Oh, um, do you hear that? Layla says, what is the over under for Cody or from Robin leaving Cody once the TLC money is gone? She's not going to leave his ass because she's got nothing. There's no other family oh. for her to jump in. That's going to have money. That's going to be able to support her without her working. Okay, she's not going is, anywhere. This reminds me, I forgot to say this. This is in my notes and I forgot to say it because then I started talking about dreams. But in the uh, Christine's cousin did an interview just on like youtube or something don't know who it is not anyone we've ever seen before but she told like it was like a it's, a, it's like a polygamy podcast about just you know how shitty polygamy is and okay. she told us they were like have you ever met cody like what's it like and she said yeah i met cody and like there was this thing where she's like she's like she saw she was with a friend and they were at a pool which, I mean, I don't know why you would put yourself through that, but they were at a pool. <laughs> and Robin and Cody were there. First of all, what does Robin wear to the pool? Mm, she has, I think, a tankini with, like, the skirted bottom. Oh, she's definitely a skirt. A skirt. Hey, uh, some of us need to wear skirts because our inner thighs just like to rub up against you just each wear a other sarong. And... you wear a sarong and then as you step in the water you no one wears off. a sarong at our community pools here babe i would look 
ridiculous if I walked up to the pool in a sarong. I mean, yeah, I wear I like, a, a, like a cover, like I throw something over it. A sarong, I guess, preaches um, vacation. Yes. Yeah. Although I have graduated to um, actually Land's End has a very sensible swimsuit line, especially for the larger busted gals. Oh, uh, true it's true. definitely yeah, purple. It's, purple, purple, it's purple. purple. It's like a. Fun. Yeah, I feel like it's a black and purple. Aunt Hawaii, floral. yeah. Uh, Coldie, the queen's old lady for sure. But she, she probably still has a necklace on, like a big, big, thick black beaded necklace. Oh no, I think I think it's definitely some of that, um, like that brushed silver, the high quality jewelry from my sister wife's closet. <laughs> oh yeah. You yes, all it. the moms get it for sure. Yeah. So <laughs> all the young girls these days, they have like these the little like butt cheeky swimsuits. Like the, where their like butt cheeks like hang out. And oh god, I could never have worn that even at that age. Uh but okay, so where where was I? Oh, so she so she saw them at this pool, okay. The cousin. Yeah. And um her friend was like geeking out on like, oh my God, that's Cody and Robin. Like, can I go oh, okay. say something to them? And then the cousin was like, no, 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 like, 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 let's wait. So her, so Christine's cousin was like, well, let me message. <sighs> There's so much happening in the story. She, she's like, let me message my fam, my family to see if like it would be okay. Or like if Cody would even know who I, who we are. Okay. So she messages, I don't know her like husband's sister's friend's cousin, you know, everyone's related. Yeah. Yep, and yep. it turns out Cody used to work with one of her relatives, uh, working big machinery job. Mm, and, I'm a man. I'm a man. Yep. Right. And I, I even said this on uh, our Facebook group because somebody posted this. Uh, the most shocking part of this story is that Cody once held a job. <gasps> right. Yeah. Like manual labor and not like MLMs or mm, selling. Just relying on his goods. wives to work. Right. Right. But uh, so, but they, he definitely knew who she was because like she, her family members had to go and help him one time because he drove one of the big pieces of machinery off a ditch and it got <gasps> stuck and oh, they had to go like classic cody <laughs> right a... but it, it so was definitely she... not his fault no the, the land wasn't level it was a lemon the, the, the was tractor a lemon. he was driving was a lemon <laughs> So they went up to him finally because they were like, he'll definitely know who we are. He worked for like, he knows who several of us are. He worked with us for years. Yeah. And she went up and she was like, he was like, yeah, no, it's not ringing a bell. And then they asked for a picture and he like tried to cover up Robin. And he's like, no, don't take a picture of Robin. <gasps> he tried to cover her up. <sighs> not his sweet Robin, not his sweeties. Nice sweetheart. She's only on national TV for yeah. or international TV for 17 seasons, but don't take a photo. God, I hate him so much. Oh. Uh Cody has no. I love this. Him. Is it Akira? I would pay to see Cody at a real job getting micromanaged. <gasps> yes, he would, would feel so good. He would last one day because oh, he, would he would flip lose. out and then get fired. Yes. He would walk out on any job in a storming blaze of glory. He would get Robin Bethany Frankel jaw muscles because he'd be like, he would. Oh, yeah. And he his couldn't face would it. become more red than uh, Christine's neck when Ariola pulled down her shirt and said, "You're red." Oh yeah, what's that? Mm. Ew. Oh, what it just see over here? The white long sleeve with the bikini. <laughs> At the pool, a rash guard, yeah, but like with the tankini over it. <laughs> like, I find it kind of, uh, I feel like it would be campy if like you and me went to the pool together, which again would never happen. But like, if we no. both wore those shirts with the, like those. Oh, you know, like the, 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 the it's a uh, airbrushed on there, like a but bikini I, bod. But you think Robin wouldn't get the joke and she'd be like, Cody. Oh, that's a little crass. Oh, There's tender age exactly. children around here. <laughs> I actually, I would absolutely wear one of those. Me too. I would totally wear one. It's hilarious. It's funny. It's it is funny. funny. I would. Next I would step. Like... 
geese <laughs> dress with little outfits, little seasonal outfits on her front yard, like the little ducks. I would you like to talking about no what like the lawn. There's like lawn geese, lawn ducks, lawn flamingos. No, there's like duck or geese. Guys, help me out here. And it would be like a little a little Fourth of July bib, or like a little like Santa hat. Okay. okay. Well, my definition of camp is yeah. owning the lamp from a Christmas story. That's like how I would explain camp to anyone. Yeah, it's a little too popular now, though. A lot of people have those. A lot of people have them, so it's not as as kitschy anymore. I think. Oh, like, there's right. at least three in my neighborhood driving around that people have them. You're invalidating me right now. Now, you know what lamp I would want to get? Ready? Boot lamp. Boot lamp. Boot lamp. If I could find a boot lamp, like, I would put, would you put it just, in your house? You just put a lamp it's hilarious. Boot. You have boots all over Calgary. You guys are all like cowboys. Yeah, we're all you about have a bolo cowboy, tie. Yeah. You own actually probably more than one bolo tie. So I know you. Got oh, a I have like a, a freaking a whole closet huge. full of bolo ties. Yes. <laughs> my mom like makes them. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, thank you, long geese, porch goose, long long geese, porch goose. Yes. Hobby Lobby has boot lamp. Elizabeth what? says. Hobby Yabby. I don't know about that. Hobby Yabby? I need that exact boot lamp, though. And I need two of them. And I need I think those are two of a kind, if you know what I'm saying. Place okay. them out like this. Yep. Yeah, I think they are two, of, two a of a kind. Leg lamp. Yep. Leg lamp. Got it. Uh, Ooh, yeah. his Hobby Yabby. I know. I get it. Dealing with the importance of her being here and then having her be comfortable when she comes to visit me. It's been a challenge. Kelly! The family's been apart for so Okay, so here Truly weird. has arrived uh, wearing um, no pants and and her trench coat. Why she's got shorts on? What is Ariola wearing? Why is Ariola wearing a polygamous <laughs> prairie dress? She's wearing a literal polygamous prairie yeah. dress. Yeah. And a mullet Lord, still. Like, why? <sighs> because Solomon's... she needs to be very modest. Solomon, like, and they seem excited to see her, though. Like, the kids yeah, but now do. why? What about COVID nineteen? Oh, are they allowed to hug her now? Yeah, what, what only me, oh. only me. Guys, wait, hold on. Update: Amazon has boot lamps. See if Amazon Canada has boot lamps. I feel like it's actually more common in Canada. Okay. Boots, yes. lamb, porch goose. Did anyone else's grandmas have these? Like, they were toilet paper covers, where you'd be like the toilet paper, and then it was like a Barbie doll, and the dress went over the toilet paper. My grandma had them. In her bathroom. oh yeah yeah my grandma had Do they still too. make those. And like I swear, my grandma like it was the same roll of toilet paper under there from 1964 when she first got it. It was always there. So I'm I'm not I'm not ignoring you. I'm just reading oh, no. the well, comments there. It's uh yeah <laughs> everyone's grandma has them. Oh, yes, we're at the Shiraz Center. Shout out to uh sister wife. Ah. Or, uh, sister wife, sister wife. All right, so here we are. Truly, and it says Christine and Cody's daughter. So long with all the COVID care and stuff like that, and then with the divorce, we haven't seen the family a whole lot. Hi Truly. Hey, how's it going? Oh, that sounds warm and welcoming. Hi. Was, Ugh, how's it going? I was just going to say, like, it, it's like you can tell when there's not really a relationship between an adult and a kid when, they're, yes. when the adult's voice goes way up. Uh-huh. Like, like, like you're petting a stranger's there. dog. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, little guy. I feel yeah. like I entered your house for the first time and met your kids with a lower tone of voice. I was like, hey. <laughs> Or like when I see my nieces or nephews, I'm like, oh my God, come here. Like, it's not like, hey, guys. Hi, Truly. Yeah, that's so she fake. She literally has known Truly since the day she was born, you know, because she was making out with her dad while Christine was crowned. Well, she was she was packing granola bars. She wants some granola bars, Cody. Cody, you want granola? Get to change his shirt, Jody. So 
He had to go all the way home. But um, she's known this girl since the day she was born. She should have the closest relationship with Truly. She should be running out to Truly. I would run out to Truly. And she and used Truly's to be like, my nemesis. Right. And even Truly is like, hi, Robin. Truly has the backpack in front of her to like put a distance yeah. between her. Truly and has her backpack on in the front. <laughs> front word. God. Yep. Of course, things are so awkward between Cody and I, please. But we've got Truly. Her biggest complaint about getting a divorce was just, can you and dad get along? So just in front of Truly, for sure, we're just going to be respectful of each other. Well, you're going to be respectful of him, and he's going to act like a big, huge, baby, immature dude. Baby. Okay, wait, hold on a second. I just saw this. Piles from the door to the living room. Okay, I'm looking. All right. Um oh for sure. Speaking of things my grandma has. Oh, Robin's a hoarder. Well, people were saying on the front porch scene last week, if you look, they couldn't even sit down. Brianna can couldn't even sit down because the bench that was there had just like piles of junk on it. Oh, she's She's a hoarder and she's definitely a compulsive shopper. Uh, Thirty thousand dollar Victoria's Secret credit card debt. As hey, an example. her legs are her legs are long, long that's right. and she Sorry, has to right, 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 right. Okay, right. so I'm looking here. I'm paying attention. All right. I'm not sure how comfortable she's going to be here. I don't want to. She pick loves up a bad America. Where she oh my God, there is coming. a bunch of stuff. And. Whoa, those crystals can't be cheap. Garcelle on Real Oh, no, what are those called? Um, geodes? Geodes, yeah. No, those are and, big. And they're doing nothing. She, just, she probably just bought them at 3 a.m. one day and then just was like, oh, yeah, Cody. Yeah, that's def now. she definitely shops on QVC because that's some QVC, like the Ninja Crock Pot and all that kind of stuff. Even in the hallway behind Cody right here, it's I like see a, a fan. A fan pointing up. Well, and a and a picture and a framed picture on the ground that is not hung up. It's like leaning oh, against the wall. All these frames at different heights, at the wrong heights too, hanging in the middle of nowhere would drive me insane. Look at the one next to Cody. That's hung too high. The middle of the frame should be like your eye line. Now, famous me famously don't yeah, like, don't like I, I can't. I can't handle, yeah, I can't handle a room with no pictures on it. Okay. This is, this is too many pictures. Well, they don't, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's not right. like a. There's no theme. She they loves like a match. Thomas Kincaid. Like she goes to Kirkland's or whatever that is and just, actually those are on QVC too. Or she goes to Costco, like the art section. Right. Jasmine says, <sighs> but Christine is the one that doesn't cook and clean. Right, 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 right. Hey, listen, QVC, I, I would love one of our TRP episodes or for Patreon. We need to watch a segment of David Venable. Okay. Do you know, do you know at all who I'm talking about? I'm not a QVC girl. Well, I'm not, I am not either. My old, my oldest sister who actually exists. <laughs> like, right. You think I have no right? Jill. She, no, the other one, Julie. Uh, Jill is closest, then there's Chris, and there's Julie. I'm on the okay. fence about Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Julie actually exists, and she loves some QVC. And there's this guy, David Venable. He is like big gay Dave, and he always does the cooking segments. And when he takes a bite of something, he goes like, mm, he like crosses his eyes, uh -huh. and it's so exaggerated, and it's so QVC sales, but it's, oh, it's so good and cringy. Anyone else know who I'm talking about? It's great. Yeah, Do you like uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives? For <sighs> Guy Fieri, I'll take like this. He, he, he's he picks up a piece of food, and his face is just redder than Christine's boobs. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I, you know what? I I can't like. I liked it the first one or two seasons. We'd watch it all the time, and then it just got to be too much. Where it's like, I, can't I like it. it. I like Guy. With Fieri. the glasses turned around on his head. Oh, did you go yeah, to his I... restaurant in Times Square when you lived in New York? Was that I your local not. hangout? I feel like it didn't exist when I lived there. What or was, was the name of it? Uh, Guy Fieri's bur burger, Burgers? Smash that burger! Something <laughs> like that. 
<laughs> All right. I don't know. It got a little too kitschy, but uh, it, oh, cordless Bissell. Interesting. Mm, I love my shark. I'm gonna say, shark Cody's wearing a t-shirt and a like a zip up hoodie over it, and I can't read what's going on on either of them, but I feel like they're both related to guns. <sighs> oh, it's definitely for guns. Um, oh, it's like his gun thing. Like it's Spart Spartan. Spartan Arc, Spartan Dabs Arc. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely his company. So it's like, okay, well, don't get to promote your company if you're not going to tell us. Pajamas? No. Aren't you going to stay the night? I don't know. Mom said today was a week. Okay, I guess you can have you wear a big t shirt or something. Oh my gosh, there's a watermelon on the floor. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is going There's on? There's a watermelon sitting on the floor. Okay, I have to like really look. Okay. There's a watermelon, a stack of like Encyclopedia um, Britannica. Sure. And then a crock pot. On a crock pot. And then there's two packages of what looks like printer paper, like reams of printer paper on top of that. Uh-huh. Um, and then next to Cody is a American painted, like probably stolen from box. Mary's house. Mary's into Americana, so Robin's yeah. got to be in more into more Americana. Yeah, the, the watermelon on the ground is why. My new favorite. Where does that go? Why you got enough counter space? I know there's a full pantry area in there, and also that's disgusting. That's so, look at Cody's disgusting, sweaty, black socked feet. I don't know why I hate black socks. The black <laughs> socks just are extra sweaty and stinky. And now you're going to pick that thing up and someone's going to hold it in their hands and eat out of it. Also, on the How long, how long has that been there? How long has that, that watermelon been there? But I can't screenshot this. I want to zoom in on the fridge and see what all these pictures are. Uh, one of them is definitely Hunter. I th oh, wow. Oh, no, wait, maybe that... Logan. That's short hair. That's not Gabe. I think that's Logan. Maybe. Don't talk about Gabe until we get through this. Well, at least there's some photos that were mailed out of them. What the body language that Cody has with Truly is so He doesn't know weird. what to do. Because he puts his arms, hands like in his pockets. Because he doesn't know what to do with her. Language? He's trying to look he like he's all like her. her. Right, but he's trying to look like he he's just casual. like calm and casual with her. Like, oh, but hey, he's truly. Just like, hey, so uh, you brought pajamas? No. But he doesn't oh, know how to interact sorry. with her at all. So he's just going to, and you know, they're just going to linger around while they're playing to make sure that truly doesn't like touch anything. He's just going to be like kind of standing there, like teetering side to side as he watches them. Oh, so you guys are just going to play? Oh, so you're playing, huh? Yeah, go away, weirdo. No, don't. Those are the good toys. Don't touch those. Those are for oh, special occasions. I'm looking at all the tchotchkes on that weird ass media wall. It's, to be honest with you. All right. So what, what should we do? All right. I'm pausing. Uh, God, all the body, the body Stuff. language of all these kids. Can you guys see this? Like Solomon doesn't know what he's doing. Then there's Aurora. Aurora, with that stupid tripod. Why is Brianna dressed like uh, Criss Cross? She's got like one, <laughs> one overall hooked and the other one is hanging off. Brianna looks like that picture of like the WB of like Daffy Duck or whatever. And like where they're like standing like this. <laughs> Tiny Toons? Yeah. No. What am I referencing? The W Sister Sister? No, it's a WB thing where it's like two WB characters that are like standing like this and it's like oh. basketball possibly. Hmm. I feel like I can hear a jingle in my head for it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> are you are you hearing? Harlem Globetrotters. The Globetrotter head. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, you want to show her your stuff? Yes. Okay. I haven't given Solomari too much information about what's been happening with Cody and Christine. But they're little. You know, I just don't. No, they're, they're not, not little. They're not, little. God, they're not fucking little. 
just because you still cut oh, her hair like she's a little baby like you just trim her curls around here animaniacs thank you um it's not no, they animaniacs, are not girl. little <laughs> God, that is and also, infuriating. Also, the fact that she's saying, I didn't tell them very much about it because they're little. You you told them enough so that Ariola could say, have dates. Have right, dates. Right. Right. You told her, she told her that much. They knew before truly. Yep. No, you tell them everything. God, and God, truly, again, liar. I can't reiterate enough that truly is only like nine months older than Solomon. And she looks five years older than him oh not yeah, at least three years older yeah. no like th they're so infantilized infantilized mm -hmm. infantiled yeah yeah i wouldn't be surprised if they like sit them in one of those little booster high chair seats at the table or like put like they put down the little <sighs> sticky placemat things in their yeah. own house or they wear and, like, those like they make cheese. them wear those things where like the, the, <laughs> the, the, uh, yeah the bibs the bibs were you. They totally. The yes. <laughs> but they take the spoons and she like wipes up off their chin. God. She'll make them pancakes and cut up the pancakes into oh, little tiny into squares. Little squares. So they oh, can choke. Has a mm. This is just not something they need to worry about as little kids. Everyone's like infantilized. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not <God>. <laughs> Okay. Is that the first one or the second one? Was that one? Oh, yeah. What's wrong with Ariola was hugging her? She was hugging? fine. People are saying this is the part where she was humping her. Okay, well, hold on. I need to go back and see. I was just yeah, I we thought he was that, holding. I, I thought he was holding board books. Like he was gonna read a little board book, and I'm like, oh god, please no. What All right, let's see. Books? I can't zoom in on them. So Truly brought novels that she's reading, and they're like, wow, look at she's reading novels. Because again, I don't think she was humping her. Looks like she was trying to hug her. They're like, no, 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 Ariola. No, no, baby. She was just she was just very aggressively hugging her, I think. Because she's probably not allowed to have friends. So she like, doesn't oh, have, and else. also she has no idea of personal space. No. Well, she doesn't know Truly's her sister. So she's like, oh, this new friend's coming over. <laughs> they like, obviously, leave. it's so obvious they have no idea what to do with Truly. This is like having a friend over for the first time. And you want to make sure like they know where they're, oh, okay, we're all going to do this at the house and that at that. Oh, okay. Ariola's definitely the kind of girl that would like barricade the door if her friend wanted to leave. Oh, she's... She's definitely throwing a temper tantrum. You know what this is giving me vibes of? Um, Pen15, um, the friend. The, third, the th friend, the third friend. Yes. What was her name? Mora. Mora. Good. Right? Mora Murray. Ah. Uh, I think she went off with someone. Foul play is definitely involved. She walked into the woods. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Settle down. She is settled down. She's fine. Got that house filled with stuff. The hardest thing about divorce is the kids. I would love it if Truly had a great relationship with Cody. Right now, she's a little awkward around him and stuff, and just a little awkward. But I'm oh, that's another thing Christine said in her interview with, I think it was Kate Casey, where she was like, if Cody had been a great dad, I would have stayed with him 100%. But he, he wasn't even that. Like, he just... And then, the other there thing was no she said... reason to stay, yeah. There was no reason to stay uh, other than just, you know, financial. She right. needed to get her shit together. But she, she oh, said that um, the reason that they didn't even, that she didn't even bring it up more is that he would only, he would come every three to four days for about 15 minutes. And she's like, I know I'm getting about 15, 20 minutes here. So there's no point. Like, do I want that to be fighting or do I want right. it to just be a pleasant experience? Yeah, well, yeah, if you don't have any time to bring up issues, you're just going to be like, okay, yeah, all right. Oh, God. I, everyone's saying the same thing about Ariola. Like, she was trying to pick her up. She was invading her space. She just doesn't have a sense of, because again, she's never been around yes. any other kids. Yep. I guarantee I, Robin has a list of banned books. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, there's no Judy Bloom in that household. No Harry oh, Potter. No, no, no. Oh, witchcraft, Cody. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> yeah. No uh, Judy Bloom, you think? Oh no, no. She, you know, she doesn't want to hear about Beverly this. Cleary. No, we don't want to encourage that pest. No Ramona. That pest She's a pest. No. <laughs> we don't. See pests I, oh, in this don't even get me started on Junie B. Jones. Don't even. Don't even try. So oh what is God. Sweet Valley Twins Lab? Babysitters Club? No. Oh, no, no, no. sluts. They're just so sluts. <laughs> Those Sweet Valley Twins, they were they were giving up their purity. Oh, no. Encyclopedia <laughs> Brown. No. No, no. Okay, so what they are they too, allowed to read? They get read? too curious reading books. And they get book smart. What are they allowed to read? Oh, I think like can, um, can they read? Can they even read? Like I said, I think they're probably still on board books, like a lot of uh, Good Night Moon, um, I love Little you Nut Brown Hair. Oh, oh, I love you forever is number one every night, which oh, is a book Robin, I hate. When, when I think about that book, it's just my whole life. Okay, I told you the story about that book, right? Okay, well, listen, I think okay, the author of favorite. the book. Okay, but the illustrations of that book oh, are horrifying. insane. He's like, he's like Harry. <laughs> he, no, the mother crawls into her adult son's window at night and rocks him to sleep. She has a ladder on top of her car driving across town. Why are not uh, more people should be talking about this? Uh, I told I you like, the story. I feel like right? Daphne would do that. So I just needed. I needed to. Uh, I just wanted to check on something, Amanda. Oh, God. No, like, it's... That book is horrifying. That is absolutely instilling mommy issues. I mean, listen, would I love for Googie... Would I love to drive across town and rock my adult Googie bear to sleep? Yes. Am I going to ever do that? If he like asks. <laughs> if he like, consents. I like <laughs> No, that's insane. No, anyway, really, long story short. Long time ago, the girl who's done my hair for, like, 20 years... Um, I was talking to someone else in her salon in the next chair about like how crazy that book is. And her girlfriend, who is now her wife at the time, came in there and I didn't know. She has a tattoo of like, I love you forever. Because her mom died and that was like her mom used to read it to her and hear, oh my God, mortified, oh no. mortified. She thought it was funny. It's all good, whatever. But oh, yeah, fine. I'll only talk about that in public to, you know, 756 people. Smash. Right. Like. <laughs> All right. Also, if you guys want to give us a tip, you can go ahead and tip us. Here's our PayPal. Um. Yeah. You, this. This is. Wait. Do we? <laughs> Stop clicking stuff. These comments are hilarious. <laughs> yeah. With, yeah. Doctor Seuss was my next question. Is that too oh, edgy? Oh no. That that's like instilling all sorts of crazy Rhymes. ideas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, chick, chicka, chicka, boom. No, 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 no. Click clack moo cows that type. Oh, no, no. Shell Silverstein, like the, the giving tree. No, because sister for sale. What are we teaching our children, Amanda? The giving tree she doesn't like because she doesn't like the idea of like inanimate objects having feelings. Well, actually, the giving she, tree, you know, I'm gonna them. I'm gonna argue with that one. That kid is a dick. Yeah, that kid's a dick. I don't understand what the moral of that story is. I never actually the it. giving tree is actually probably Robin's favorite book. Because Christine is she, the tree. Well, just no, because Robin kicks dogs. So, like, I feel like Robin would take on the responsibility of like helping a tree grow and then just like abandoning it halfway mm. through its life. No, see, I think it, it's Christine's the tree, and they just keep taking, taking, taking. Yeah, oh, that, that's a good point too. And they just like cut her down. They're like, oh well, I guess I'll just sit on you then. Oh. Janelle, Janelle is the tree. That's actually a better point because Janelle has mm. actual money. All right. Oh, but Robin doesn't like to be in the trees. No, not the trees. What is this? Mama Cat says, "Love you forever" is about stillborn <gasps> children. It That's is. Again, I like the message. The <laughs> illustrations are insane. If they were to new illustrations in that book, or just take out the crazy ones of the mother climbing into her fifty-year-old son's bedroom and rocking him. That'd be different. Read this comment. <laughs> Robin probably passive aggressively reads, I love you forever to date. And so he will rock her to sleep when she has COVID. Oh, for sure. 
And guess what? Dayton's not coming. I'm not coming. Yeah, Dayton's I not know. Coming. No Sorry. way. Oh my God, really? Oh, Robert Munch. Okay. Wow. I mean, we're gonna get on a, a children's book. Okay, there's here. an Guys, of friends where the there's an hand. Of friends where uh, uh, Rachel has that baby, oh, Emma, for has like that baby. Know. <laughs> yeah, that's that thing. Uh, for uh, like three episodes, it's featured, and it's the baby's birthday, I think. And Joey forgets to get a present, so he he does like a reading of "I Love You oh Forever," oh, and like everyone's like stopping. Well, you don't want good TV. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama Cat. I feel bad. It's about still. I really had no idea. Again, I stand by the illustrations are crazy. Interesting. I didn't. Do you, did you do? Did you know that? Um, uh, would you hold my hand? Eric Clapton. Yeah. You know, did you know my about... name? Yeah, his son who died. Yeah, Sonny, like, fell out a window, right? I know, I know, it's really sad. Ugh. I saw yeah. him in concert. Do you remember what that song reminds me of? Do you remember the story? I told this. And Wait, you... hold on, hold on. I'm going to see if I remember I, it. I don't remember. Who, the your first gerbil time I heard died. That... Your gerbil, your hands are named Snowflake or Snowball died. Oh, and oh you were in the God. back of a car, and you were, like, looking at a window while it was raining, and you were like, <laughs> That's exactly the story. <laughs> Is I was, we were on a road trip. I was in the back seat of my car. If I saw you in heaven started, and I thought about my my hamster snowflake who had just passed, <laughs> and I thought, when I go to heaven, I will, will snowflake hold, recognize you. I will hold snowflake's hand. <laughs> tears you in heaven. Yes, hand. tears. Oh, little thingy. <laughs> oh my god. It's a good hamster. I like Eric hamster. Clapton is a racist. Oh, we can't have anything nice. Oh, come on. God. It's like discrimination for us. Can I have a childhood? All right, back to <laughs> Oh no, five. don't don't sing that. Michael Jackson. Have you seen my childhood? Let's not go there, babe. He beat the charges, Jody. <laughs> uh, we're at three minutes and 44 seconds. <laughs> if she was closer to him, definitely. There's other tension in the family besides just the divorce, and it's, because of you. it's making the whole thing even harder. Being able to have truly come over, that feels like some normalcy. That feels it's harder. There's a lot of issues, and it's just really annoying for truly to come over. Right. It's, it's making a lot it harder for Robin for Rob. to handle. Yeah. She has so much on her plate. Oh, well, that watermelon needs to be lifted off the floor at some point. <laughs> God. Why is a watermelon on the floor? <laughs> I'm insane. All right. Everyone is, is confirming that Eric Clapton is an asshole. I did not know that. I'm so sorry. sorry that we brought him up. Wow. Well, you better think of another song to sing when, when you see Snowflake in heaven. Hey, I truly, truly believe that when you die, you're, all of your pets like meet you. Oh, I'm sure. Is Snowflake no. gonna jump over you like in Free Willy? Like he's just gonna fly over you to that song? <sighs> right? But you told me that you were so faithful. <laughs> All right. Like, oh Lord. You know, there's still family here. That's a big thing. This summer has been rocky for Cody and I. We had such big disagreements about the trailer. Fat Olives. I'm really All right, we're at Fat Olives, which is clearly used to That's be the name Olive of our Park. new podcast, Fat Olives. And <laughs> That's our new Sister Wives podcast. That's our new tier on Patreon, Fat Olives. So here, oh is, the, here is the Janelle and Cody scene that I assumed okay. was going to be like the <gasps> scene of the episode. It's uh, it gets way more lit up. Looking to kind of okay. just soothe the water. I mean, there's still problems. There's still a lot of disagreements. Oh, sorry. Um, and there's still the issue of my kids, my boys. 
especially and Cody, but I'm just trying to bring us back to a more stable place. So I'm hoping to start a conversation that will do that. <laughs> Pity Cinders and why does Janelle look like she's a three year old who ate chocolate who ate a chocolate chip cookie? I don't get it. Her mouth is a little like oh I think yeah. she, I think well, there's well, a little surgery. Herp. No, she had the surgery to remove the, her molar. It was cancer. Yeah, I know, but I think there's a, a herp that's on the lip line that she's going over. No. I mean, we know about the herpes strain that goes through this family. I mean, guys, if you're doing a rewatch, okay, these are things that the, 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 it, everyone, and you put them in the comments too. For anyone yeah. doing a rewatch, what are the things to to keep an eye on? Because I, I already okay. wrote this on a Facebook post, by the way. Join our Facebook group. Uh, we love to hate TV, but yep. uh, I said, okay, Alex, one of our listeners, Alex, is doing a rewatch, and I said, here are the things to look for for like mm. a bingo card. Um, Aurora always being the first to run in, and always, and we are not exaggerating. First one, Herpes. all the time. Hers. What else? Yep, uh, boot lamp, boot lamp, <laughs> boot lamp. Um, what are some other good ones? Oh, we said herpes. Flat the tires. Linda K says, yes, it's flat tire. Uh, moving. Oh, work gloves. Ah, uh, work gloves visor. <laughs> the visor work. Mm -hmm. Um, I always say Mary's ugly shoes. We haven't really gotten into that yet, but she's got a horrible shoe choice. Oh, I like her shoes actually kind of. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. I'll find an Instagram years ago. I did like a montage and they're all horrible. Janelle's button down. Thank you, Loco. Cap and Hans. Button down, Janelle. Button down on Bare Janelle. Bare feet. Dead, dead tooth. There. Oh, that dead tooth. I feel like Finger we're allowed face. to say that now. Like if you're not a good person, we're going to call out your dead tooth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The logs, um, Robin's eyebrows. Robin's eyebrows I like, don't happen till like way later though. Mm-hmm. Um I'll, I'll think of them. It'll come Boot to lamp, me. Lamp, I think, might be my favorite. Boot lamp and Aurora yeah. and the herpes are my three tops, I think. Yeah. And button up. The button. Up. <laughs> okay, so Janelle is wearing the jacket that I need to find. And I have looked high and low. I know that's what I wanted to get you for Christmas. I try, I have been looking for a year and Kara Berry, someone did a, uh, or ordered her a cameo and they asked because Kara got her sweater from last season and Janelle says she can't remember where she got it, but she shops yeah. at Torrid and somewhere else. That's and kind I, of a dead end right there. Cause that's so Janelle just being like, I don't know. I probably got it here. Uh, you, I love it. I love this. I love the jacket. Okay. Uh, I make up, uh, Doggy bed, the the tooth, mixed metaphors. Oh, the dark. Hold on, the dark I know. Hers. Mary's armless couch. The <gasps> Ooh, the armless, armless couch. couch. Yeah. yeah. The wet bar. Uh, wet bar. Also, like the weird word art. That's like, if everyone isn't miserable and hating each other, then it's not family. It's yes. Horrible. What is with that sign? Or it's like, don't kiss the butt ugly cook, and he gave that to Janelle or something. Remember? It was like, I can't kiss, but I sure can cook or vice versa or something. No, it's uh, I kiss better than I can cook. Yeah. Dang. It, it was, it, it's um like, like mother and Cody's mother invasion. And all the, all the moms go shopping with Cody uh, to pick out presents. And he's like, I'm going to get this for Janelle. It says, I kiss better than I can cook. And even Janelle's own mom and the handsome woman yep. say, don't get her that. Mm -hmm. And then he does. He gives it to her. And Janelle's like, great. Thanks. The big chair, the big tall chairs. The yeah. big tall, like dining chair. Yeah, the Alice in Wonderland Another chairs. one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's I get into this. You know. I'm so excited. <laughs> right. I can't wait to rewatch this later to read all the, because guys, by the way, we do go back and read all of the live chat afterward because we I want to see what everyone's saying. But here we are. We're at Fat Olives and Cody's checking out what to what, what are we gonna get? And they've placed them in like the back like patio area. Yeah, I hate like, these tables and chairs, by the way. 
Because if you have shorts or something on, you get that patterned grid on your yeah. legs. And then and on your even. forearms, you always like get yeah. it on here and it, oh, oh, always a wobble. All right, hang on. Um, Let me, hang on. I'm going to pull up the menu. Fat Flesh olives. Oh, it came right up. Came right up. They got artichokes for sure. Okay, timestamp. We're at 447 for those of you who are wondering where yeah, we are. After over an hour. <laughs> I think they're at lunch, right? You think they're at lunch or they're at dinner? I'm going to go lunch. No. I don't think Cody takes yeah, her out at yeah. night. Yeah, no, That's no, like no, a date. Well, this is a business kids lunch. Need them. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, Robin's putting those kids to bed at 630. No, I've watched <laughs> No, she doesn't. Your areola stays up till midnight. Well, that's what time she like puts them to bed, though. Right, and then Ariel's up all night. Yeah. Um, I, I've already, I've watched this twice. Uh, first, this whole scene is also completely a disaster to watch because if you watch the food, it's just all over the place, like time wise. Okay, but they definitely got the insulata. Uh, fat olives, which is just mm. a bowl of a bunch of olives and like cranberries and pecans. I don't, that does not so, sound good to me. That sounds amazing to me. <gasps> they have oh, a God, Miss Piggy sandwich. Yeah. He's like, Janelle will have the Miss Piggy. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, like, Vicky you know, from like, Real Housewives. But then, the Grace say sandwich, yummy. Okay, what I else? Guess, I guess Guy Fieri was here because it says what Guy ate. Oh, I was just going to say. They even have like a little cartoon. He got the 12-inch canai, canai pizza, white face, ricotta, house-made house mozzarella. Oh, ricotta. Yeah. I don't like that. I want a ricotta on my pizza. I think they like just gross. got a couple of appetizers, honestly. What a jerk. I don't want appetizers. And Give then Janelle, Janelle is just... Her her ta uh, green tea work here is just on point. Because she's oh. con or I don't know if it's green tea, but she's constantly messing with this green tea. And then Cody just has ice water. So just keep Ooh. an eye on all the food. Okay. Oh, it's fun to eat out. I don't think we've eaten out. Oh, it's the funnest time too. I just had a good time. <laughs> They are so close. What a connection. You can feel it. The chemistry on this couple. Ooh, it's fun to eat. Like when you eat and I eat at the same time, it's like fun. Wow. Mm. Well, so there's a plate of um, like 75 lemon wedges next to Cody. And so he's constantly squeezing the, yeah, everyone's saying that here. The lemons. The okay. amount of lemon he has been squeezing for this trip. Ugh. They they can't even spend a lunch together without being extremely awkward. Oh yeah, the right. little kids. Mm. Hi, Erica. <laughs> I can't help but think about kids who are smoking at his age. Yeah, right. Okay. There's such a big divide between Cody and my boys that I don't know what we want to do for Thanksgiving. Maddie and Caleb are going are thinking about coming. Uh, here's the problem: if they're coming, then we have uh, a lot of people together. There's a lot of things to work out. Mm -hmm before that well i actually because i haven't been at thanksgiving with them since 2018 i had thought if i'd really kind of like to go there for Thanksgiving. look at this stupid douchebag with his mask hanging off of one Dangle thing. Um, and he says he has no less than four lemons five there's a cutting That's board of thing. lemons in front of him yep. yeah order lemonade you weirdo what is going on she and then Janelle with her tea? tea. Like, I just don't, and I don't understand what's happening here. And then also, okay. The I've never ordered tea at a restaurant like that. Like well, hot I, tea? I don't, I don't like hot beverages because I burn my mouth. Hurts mm. my teeth. But um, <laughs> homeless man lemonade <laughs> genesis. Oh, being cheap. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And that's annoying to have to cut lemons just for this douchebag. But we're about to talk about like who he hasn't seen in a while. He hasn't seen Maddie in a while, which tells you a lot because that means he That's also hasn't favorite. seen Caleb in a while. <gasps> I don't. God, I'm going to miss you. 
Uh, he's jealous. He's jealous. Because Maddie is obviously friends with Christine. Or wait, that's her mom. Uh, yeah. He doesn't like it. Seven lemons carcass out boot lamp. Boot Love lamp it. dab start. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I would love this if she planned on throwing the tea in his face. Oh, God, that would feel so good to throw something in his face. Right? Yeah, I was just thinking about, what's that documentary, like, Crazy Love? Where that, oh, it's like one? from, it's, it's like a, about a guy who is like obsessed with this woman and then she breaks up with him, and then he gets someone to throw acid in her face, and she oh, like loses her oh, sight. Oh, oh. And now yeah, they're yeah, yeah. still married. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, men are the best. <laughs> they really are. Yeah. I decided to take the easy way out and go to Maddie's for Thanksgiving because then there's never there doesn't have to be any decisions made about the COVID rules or about the tension that's going on between Cody and my boys. Christmas, I feel like, is really important to be here. I just feel like I need to plug back into the family that's here. I haven't been with Thanksgiving with them for a long time. We have a... Oh, oh, oh. Cody, take the fucking mask off of your ear, you dumb goon. And just, like, get the, get the lemons done. Just, like, hurry up and do it. Why does this take you so long? It's so many lemons, though. Why? He's got some like GI issues. There's a lot of stuff that has gone under the bridge here that I'm not just going to ignore oh, when we are. get together as a family. Look how pissed Janelle is. Because I'm not going to just. Janelle kind of has beaker face here. Oh, she's biting. She's literally biting her tongue. Like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, so he's pretty much just saying, like, Okay, when we get together, I'm picking a fight because it's just something I want to do because I'm the dad. Mm. Nobody's apologized enough to me, the man. God. God. And have everybody over and act like everything's peachy and fine without working those things out. Does that make sense? Look well, at Janelle's face during this whole thing. It's so she's like, good. no, it doesn't. Thanksgiving, if they've got animosity towards me, or somebody that I, okay, I think he just said animalosity. <laughs> yeah, he, animosity. He, he, he tripped up on that one. <laughs> um, yeah, more than three syllables, he's gesturable with. It. <laughs> so he and he, realize how he said my house it wasn't Robin's house. No, I don't the, want him well, coming he, to yeah, my his, house his Robin. Yeah, with animosity. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can't control how people feel. So, but number you forced one, everyone to come over and drink uh, liquidy ass milkshakes and vanilla vanilla milkshakes that's how little sweeties likes it and we had he a compliment it, her. Amanda. yeah mm. remember when when they did their covid test and cody oh man you guys are gonna love this i accidentally sucked out of the straw <laughs> Gross. 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 It was so funny. Stop it. Stop it. It makes me like, oh, puke. That's so gross. God. He's so stupid. He just wants to be angry. He wants to have a fight yeah. with his yeah. kids. He just wants yeah. to do it no matter what. So, really, like, the kids are willing to go to your house and, like, let's just all get along. But he's like, no, we're not going to get along. You're going to hear a piece of my mind. My aunt just texted me. She's going to lay down now because she has bronchitis. Oh, everyone say hi, nice Auntie Debbie. It was nice listening to you say hi to Jody for me. Oh, hi, she, Auntie Debbie. she sure exaggerates how much I work in your place. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> She's going to play with you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to have it out it's with her like Cody and Gabe. <laughs> Maybe Garrison should try and reach out to me and sort of make amends. It's not the child's what? responsibility to reach out to you ever. So he's saying to Janelle, Janelle, tell Gabe to, or who, Garrison. Gabe or Gary, tell Gary Garrison. to call me and apologize. I call him Gary, okay? I like it. He's Gary to me. Tell Gary to call me and apologize. Yeah, no, 
he's an adult. Remember, Cody, he's an adult. Bye bye. So yeah. he doesn't have to call you and make amends. And also, like you said, if you want that, you call him. You're the adult. You're the parent. Also, isn't Garrison like a like ve- a veteran? <laughs> like yeah, not a veteran. Like ROTC he, he's or in the something. Army. Yeah, something. Yeah. 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 He's in some branch of that. Like he's such a more respectable, better person than Cody will ever uh-huh. be. And Cody is just jealous of, of oh, all of his absolutely. kids. Oh, absolutely. All of he them. wants them to struggle all like better he does. Men this is. Yeah. Yep. And Cody wants it again. Once again, this is just the hypocrisy. He wants it both ways. He wants all of the the kids to look at him as a father all the time. But on the same hand, he wants them to be an adult. Bye bye. So which way do you want it? If you want them to look at you as you are the dad, then you need to act like the dad and call them. Or they're an adult and they don't have to. So which way do you want it? National Guard. Thank you. National Guard. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, uh, thank you, Mary Jane. Hey, Mary Jane. We love you. Uh, Elizabeth says, I believe Garrison and Payton are both National Guard. Hunter is Air Force. Yeah. (sighs) Okay. Yep. Totally. Okay. Let's see. We're going to have to wait for the kids to all sort of come to their own whatever. Cody and my boys are very estranged. He doesn't even want to see their point of view. He's like, you've offended me. You've offended those that are close to me, a.k.a. Robin. You guys have to come mea culpa. This is, this is why Janelle has 100% left, because she's saying the name Robin now. I feel yeah. like that's like the first thing. This is the most she's ever said Robin's name. Oh. oh we weren't allowed to before. Oh, you know, my boys are just not going to do that. I'm not asking for an apology or a mea culpa from Gabe and Garrison. Does he know what that means? Simply... Yeah, Cody, define mea culpa. He, he heard it. Janelle use it, so now he's using it. No, it's not a mea culpa. No, it's not. Me- mea culpa. How do you say it? <laughs> mea culpa? <laughs> Fucking idiot. God, his and hair. This, his hair Ooh. goes through such a in this episode because sometimes it's longer and sometimes he j- this is a recent haircut uh, yeah this uh, is a fresh a fresh look i think the bulk of what is really hurting you is how everybody was during covid right no it's not just about me they, they started actually putting robin in their crosshairs <sighs> the text started going that direction there's been a lot of talking about certain people in the family I received some texts and some phone calls from Gabe and Garrison basically blaming me for what was going on with the family. Guarantee you that the texts were like, hey, Robin, if it's okay, could we... We would love to see dad. We know that you have some rules in place, but could we possibly... She was cordy. They texted Mm. They were so mean to me. Cordy. Also, they might have seen the clip where Cody said, Hey, since, uh, what's her name? Mary. Oh yeah. We forgot about her. She hasn't. She oh, she hasn't heard this episode. Is she getting paid for this episode? Even <laughs> When they're like, Hey, remember when our dad said, can Mary see and touch Ariola and Solomon? Cause she's been doing all her COVID protocols. And you said, Oh no, even though she's, she's doing everything and she's quarantined, she's still not allowed to touch. Cause it could just be confusing to everyone. Cody. Yeah. Everyone saw that Robin. So we know that it is your rules. Cody was fine with Mary playing with the kids, but you were the one who said, no, no, no. Now is not the time. No. Solinari. Solinari. Don't, don't touch her. Don't touch Julie. Yeah. Don't touch her. Get Should away. Should I put it back? Um, I like it down. It's a little Chelsea who's got on the side. Okay. No, I'm uh, well, the no one way. itself was good. I mean, it looks better than what's going on here. Uh, okay. Oh God. Here we are in that. Uh, the, what is going on? This is that photo that we hate where it looks like they're in a Victorian um, village. Right? Like a Victorian old timey village that you would go to. This is the picture we're looking at guys. On a field like, trip. Look at the la- why is like, the lamp in the picture? Yeah, we're like, oh, this is a what, what's that crank thing? The old Victrolia, the the the, the thing a, with like the, a grinder? No, we're like played a record sort of a thing. 
with like had like the oh, megaphone like a, on it. I don't know. Whatever. Something phone. A gramophone. No, I feel like it was like a Victrola or something. Victrola, thank you. Thank you. I was so close. I was so close. Phonograph. A gramophone. Gramophone. These are all correct answers. Yeah, exactly. I have three wives before I even have one child. When Robin comes to the family, she gets time with me and she gets attention to her children. I think that was just too much for some of them. I think they were just jealous. Yeah. There is unwillingness What's wrong with that? The to accept other members of the family or to communicate with other members of the family or to make amends with other members of the family. And how often does Robin re reach out? I was to... just going to say, why doesn't Robin try to make amends? Oh, but Cody, they're bullying me. They're mm. bullying me. They never wanted her to be part of the family. I mean, Robin is just a victim all the time. This is such like, oh, sorry. This is such a random comment. Um, M MJC427 just says, Robin under kids get all the attention. And then I just, just reading that I remembered a part of this episode. There's so much more that's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Can't wait. To hear that Cody is telling Janelle that uh, the boys need to apologize to me. I didn't know he was doing that. Hey, oh. uh, aren't, aren't you supposed to be the actress of the family? Because I don't buy it. Yeah, no. And her eyebrows are insane. These look like McKelty's it's old black brow. marker. It's sharp. Yeah, it's really bad. Who told her to do that? God, and her goit is just on display, on display. Look at that goit. It's causing permanent wrinkles on her neck. No, it's bad. I she saw a TikTok it. the other day that was like reprimanding people for talking shit about Robin's eyebrows and like women should do better. But it's like, yeah, but I make it, I don't, I never talk about women's looks. Like I just, I, but like, I mean, you and I are people, hardest on I mean, ourselves than I mean, anyone. Right. Robin though, I feel like, no, she deserves you, it. You lost. You like you lose. Like, also, I, remember no, when she was like, sorry. Janelle, I got you an extra large shirt, but I'm so I was, sorry because you're so I was bad. up it's all night because you're you. so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing I think of. Mm. I just want to clear the air with the boys. I love those boys. Oh, you could tell. Oh, it's so yeah, obvious. They, they, they don't love you, honey. I have somebody no. in my life who is fundamentally loyal to me. Just say Robin. Just talk. exactly. Why does he keep saying someone? Name? Someone. God, it's both Mary. He's talking about Mary. Yeah, I I agree. I think Cody does have a little talks. Yeah, because Cody in some talk. talking heads, his eyes will kind of be like this. Had did you see? I think I sent it to you on Reddit. Someone had found a picture. Someone went and saw him at a gun show and took a picture, and Cody was obviously yeah. looking at the guy, knowing, and his lips looked like he got filler. Go on Reddit. It's in both like TLC Sister Wives and also Sister Wives. Something's up with his lips. They look completely different than they've ever looked before. Oh my God. Maybe he was like blowing Caleb or something at the gun show. I don't know. <laughs> no, Caleb, Caleb is friends with Christine, though. Yeah, talk. Oh, talk about loyal. Yeah, no one's been more loyal than the other wives. Oh, wait, Robin uh, Susan says, yeah, I, I read that. Robin's son is living with his biological father. Does anybody know if this is true? This is very, this is like a controversial thing because he was spotted. He still enrolled at NAU. I think he spent a bunch of, maybe he went and spent time with his dad or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I think, I think that it is confirmed ish that mm -hmm. Dayton has separated himself from. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm like so excited to see what's to come. Look at this comment. Well, apparently all of Cody's high school buddies thought he was closeted gay too. 
I'll tell uh, Melanie Gore. Okay. Hi, Melanie. Says, I'll tell you if he got lip, lip injections, I get my lips done. Yeah, let us know. Just go on Reddit. You'll find it in both groups. It's very yeah, obvious. Let us know, please. All right. I'm saying to you that you and I get that if you're loyal to me. What does loyal mean? I can't. Submissive. This is the whole conversation of this. Is loyal me doesn't mean love it means obedient and submissive mm, which robin right. is able to do because she's what's the word lazy as fuck Got i it. just can't believe i just can't believe what he's saying i'm not telling janelle to be more like robin i'm telling janelle just to be loyal i have 100 like percent loyalty from rob so okay i guess that's like robin nope i'm just asking for loyalty I'm asking to be the head of my household. I mean, here he is blaming. What they call like, this household, right? Also, like, do you know that you live in 2022 or 2000? I don't know. Well, 2004. But, but they knew what they were getting into with this marriage. They knew. They all agreed. They signed up for him to be yep. the leader. Well, you yep, know what? Well, Times change, Cody, and women become like people change as we get older. So head of your household Adjust. means that you need to be around, though. Like, you have to oh, be around. Oh, yes. Oh, there's the kicker. Therein lies the problem. Uh, right there. Yes, yes. And also, Robin receives something from you. So in turn, she is loyal to you. They're not receiving anything from you. Right. So they don't Dang owe you anything. This person is loyal and treats me like the head of the household. And if you really want to be a wife to me, this is how you need to be. I'm not going to be this person. I'm not going to become Robin. You Robin. act like it's only one side. Somebody came into our family and treated us all very kindly. But they perceived something else. Well, she did kiss you while your her sister wife was crowning. Right. I don't know how kind that is. She shoved truly away. She kicked one of your dogs. Swatted. Yeah. Sw yeah. yeah. Kicked a dog. Yeah. Um, what else? The wedding oh. dress. Oh, the wedding dress. The wedding and dress she incident? also told you, like, don't go with Isabel to surgery because, I mean, that would be selfish oh, of she Isabel. She wanted him to go, though. Joy. There's, there's kids of tender age that need him at home. It frustrates me beyond belief that he perceives this one wife, this one relationship, as she's so perfect. She's such a saint. She was so nice to us, and she was treated so wrong. So everybody better apologize for being mean to her, or else this isn't going to work anymore. This is the subtext I've been hearing this whole damn day. Oh, <gasps> she said, damn. <laughs> Cody's been a broken record about this for the last little bit, how Robin's been so victimized. She was so sweet to everybody. She put herself out there. And I don't so perceive it that way. I perceive that we were a plural family trying to figure it out. And she always kind of kept herself a little separate. Trying to blend with the family wasn't easy. There was challenges. But yeah, well, 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 yeah, yeah, there were challenges. You were 10 years younger than them. They haven't, they haven't had to have somebody new for... 20 years like they've been you they've force been, your children yeah. as they are your brother and sister now yeah blending Open any no family their dad right climbed up all of them yeah we're calling uh logan and, and cody daddy both of them because right Get, spreading herpes throughout the family yeah like you have to ease yourself into the family as well you can't just come right in the middle of a family be like hey oh and we're gonna take your dad for 11 days after truly is like a week old yeah bye bye and, but we're not gonna let like her you... placenta is still inside her when they yeah. Have their honeymoon. yeah and also she wants her kids to be accepted as part of the family but she wouldn't allow the family to watch her kids when they were on their honeymoon her no. mom did they had to ask permission like can they come over for the day i don't want but they're supposed to be brother and sister touching the brown kids yeah, especially not truly or paid in. Ugh. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not truly. Yeah. No, 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 no. There were some challenges. Yeah, everyone has challenges. It's four and it's up to you. Yes. It's up to you to uh, alleviate this. Yeah. So this group of twenty are supposed to accommodate you and your, well, at least one super annoying kid, Aurora. 
I used to like Aurora. She was, though. again, in the rewatch, we're not like trying to be mean. Listen, it's Robin's fault, but Aurora is the worst. Oh, the worst. Just such so conditioned. Obnoxious. As Robin's daughter. Oh, God. Just, I, I'm the best. She made it really her. hard for the brown, the actual brown kids <clears throat> to accept her kids because they were annoying. And, and they even said, like, there, there's, a, there's a few couch times where, like, ma mad thing uh -huh. is, like, they they just cry, like, all the time. They're whiny and crying. They Remember when they're all climbing cry. on the rocks? And she's like, Daniel, Rob Ray, be careful. No, don't, don't climb on the rocks. Well, do you want her to be part of the family or not? Like, you can't have it both ways. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, what's her name? McKelty uh, fell off that horse. <laughs> And then Cody, like, killed it or something? Like, murdered it in the back. Oh, yeah. But I really think the horse ran off with him on it. And he was like, oh, I'm going to get that. Horse. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach the give this horse what for. Yep. <laughs> okay, so if the picture is real. I mean, it's not a doctored picture. You guys go check it out. Yeah. His lips are like. <laughs> they're, I don't even know how to describe it. I know really? I sent the link to you earlier. Yes, I sent the link okay. to you earlier. And it's. It, they're the pretty weird. I wanted desperately was to be a part of this family. Well, you are part of the family. You're the family now. You are the family. Yeah, yeah. What what more could they possibly do to make you feel like part of the family? Remember, they have given you their father and their husband. Remember Michael? What? Oh my god, it was so funny. Wait, are you gonna talk about the caramels? <laughs> Wait, were you really? Yes. That's literally what I was about to say. They could not stop laughing about that. Giggle, they were crying. Giggle, laughing. giggle. Like, what? 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 Cody's mom makes the best caramels. The they're like, to the shop lady, they're like, don't tell Cody that we're doing this. She's like, I won't. Are you going to take the whole jar? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> And then Cody's like, I think something's up over here. And they're like, oh, <laughs> you're so crazy. Well, you know, Mary, I mean, Mary's just like wild like that. Have you seen her Fridays with friends? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she's pretty funny. Mendesha, <sighs> hello, uh, Amanda. Yeah, the other Amanda of this they podcast. There's such, such silly, silly goose. They are, they are they're funny. Oh, they, they don't they have look. a good time. They don't have a good time. I mean, when I think comedy, I think Mary Brown and Robin Brown. Mm. I mean, they know how to get a club lit. <laughs> because so it's funny. Caramels. And then they like squish the caramels so that they oh. look to me. <laughs> no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. They're like trying to keep a straight face during the taste and like so I also love how Christine won that by just like doing her due diligence. Yeah. Like she just like no, but it's so created what? the recipe. We're gonna get in the car. <laughs> We're going we went. They're up at the front desk and we bought them. We bought them. The them. crew that day had to be like, oh my God. So we're going this so joke going into is town. never gonna land. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. They're so funny. Cause you know it's like some straight dudes like, God, this fucking sucks. We gotta go out yeah. in the heat. Like caramel. Oh, I'm stuck, with, stuck with Mary and Robin today. Can oh, it was rock, this? paper, scissors every morning. Like who gets to go to Christine? Oh, it, yeah, it was with the, the <laughs> short straw. <laughs> yeah. So if you're going to Christine's, you're getting like some good food. If you're going to Janelle, you know she's got like some cool ranch Doritos. Well, and the boot she's got lamp. some Entenmann's like donuts, like the good stuff. <laughs> she's Robin, got the boot lamp. Oh, boot lamp for sure. Boot lamp Robin's <laughs> got the fridge chained up. She's not offering anything. You have to go Don't pee outside the porta potty. And unless you ask Robin or Melinda, what yeah. the fuck is her? M Mindy? Mindy. Mindy, yeah, Mindy. Yeah. I was almost named uh, Mindy. I like Amanda better. It suits you. I'm actually named after the song Mandy. 
I remember that. Why don't you go by Mandy? Because you're I an Amanda. It. You're not a Mandy. You're not an Amanda. You did. The the last person that like my auntie Debbie, I feel like wants to call me Mandy still. Like all the, I can always kind of feel her almost saying Mandy. Okay. Oh, sorry. I I'm just looking at the comments and listening. Oh, Kimberly. I uh, just Kim. recorded a maze. Oh, not Kim. It's Kimberly. Careful. Oh, Kim. Sorry. People are wild. Also records with us. That's Kimbali. <laughs> yeah, Kimbali. Uh, we just recorded Amazing Race Recap, and we're going to do the last two episodes next week. It's going to be lit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Robin kicked the family dog in the first season. I actually think it was season two. Just, just mm. to get that. Or it was probably more than once, but you know. But I love this comment because it has a, a boot emoji in it. And not, lamp. nothing I like more than a boot. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get to this. I'm I'm edging over here. Did. Okay. So I guess if you want to go here. I mean, if it was the situation was reversed, would you be acting this defensive <gasps> about me? You and I have been acting like <gasps> we're in a very... I don't like oh, that. Oh, excuse you. Back up, sir. Yeah. I like, I, I, it, it, the, the first time I saw this, the... I, I felt very triggered by that. How dare you lean into her space like that? That <laughs> This is what I was talking you about before, have... where she made a really good point. Like, okay, here, here we are. Uh, if this was me, would you be this defensive? And then he, you can watch him take a second and go, Oh shit, that's a really good point. What do I do now? So now he gets up in her personal space. He's I gonna do blame not like her that. for how they haven't been acting like a married couple because he hasn't been present. Yep. But it's her fault. Because she's not sexual enough for him. Mm. Like I remember well, one episode where like everyone arrives for Christmas say. or something, and what? I know what you're gonna say. Like he like goes to like hug her or kiss her or something. And he's like, oh, it's like weird. We're more like buddies. We're more like friends. Why are you and me the same person? Because <laughs> we just live and breathe sister wives. Yes. He goes, know, exactly. yeah, it's always, always kind of weird when we kiss, right? That's what he says. Yeah, they're in a driveway. She's standing at like the front of the yes! car. Like, by the hood. There's a bunch of cars between, around. Yes. And he walks up between two cars. Yes. <laughs> we need to like get a life. I need to find a hobby. I need to get like a job. <laughs> I need to do something with my life other than this. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. I think Cody I has ED. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like eating disorder because of the lemons. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Erectile dysfunction. God. All right. Couple for most of our marriage, Chanel. Because of you. I don't know why it's been okay for so many years, and it's not now, but you actually live like a single woman. I always felt like I had to make my own decisions for me. I thought that's what plural marriage was about, like being independent. A long time ago, I was encouraged to be yes. independent. That's what you did as a plural wife. I'll ask him. Yeah, it was all really good right. when she was, you know, providing for the entire family. Right, to go off working on your own to pay for the Lehigh house. Yeah. You go be an independent woman because Christina is going to help raise the kids. He can pop in the morning, say hi to Logan as Logan's making his children breakfast and packing their lunches. That was cool. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, we're both putting oh. the same thing up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what um, this is about, but let's promote it at least. Wow. Oh, my gosh. And now he's throwing she it back at her. And she we just, haven't I been... Like, I feel you so have bad to do for, with that. Sorry. I feel so bad for her because she must look back on that and just go like just the regret she must have of like, God, I could have actually just left. I could have made a clean break. And then I gave my father's inheritance to yep. him. Yeah. So she's been in a sexless marriage. Like that's what he's saying. Right. We've been yeah. in a sexless marriage. You've been living like a single woman. Okay, but Cody, that's your fault. She can't like make you penetrate her. Like what? What? That's on you if that's how it is, right? Like was she well, gonna put a gun to her head? You, and, and, and you know, there's no house to, Cody like, doesn't do foreplay. Oh. It's oh, just I, like a poke. 
like where hey, I see hey, hello, that? excuse me. It was like on TikTok or something uh, where someone said you can judge how a man is in bed by the way that he dances. And then they have like the clip of Cody dancing at the wedding. Oh, the dancing. Oh, again, I want that to be the last thing I see I don't in my know. I just, before I die. I can't picture him doing it. And I think it's just like my brain won't let my mind I go I think there. it's very just like mm, 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 mm. aggressive. he has that much it energy. Well, it, it's older. He is like who even wants to do it at this point? I mean, I think he's on top. Yeah, because I don't know what. Because Robin, <laughs> Robin in bed must just be like. Mm. Well, I mean, guys, do you want me to play with? No, you? No, don't, don't. People get so mad when you do it. Don't do it. I won't. I won't. Mm, yeah, right there, right there. Oh. Uh... Ooh. Oh, don't move. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's uh, Robin's uh, labor sound. Everyone Just in the Robin. comments, no, don't do it. <laughs> I mean, listen. Oh, yikes. All right, here we go. We're 11 oh, minutes. Oh, for in, sure, way. Debbie. Oh, for sure. He's <laughs> he's imagining Caleb from Down Under. Oh, Caleb God. with his hat. His hat never comes off his head, though. His sweat, it has like a sweat stain Ooh. that goes like half. Oh, half. Gross. <laughs> okay. Get ignored, and everything gets ignored. So I guess what I decided to be my own hero, and I <gasps> rescued myself, and I started doing things for myself. Oh my I feel God. like Janelle is misinterpreting our entire marriage here. Different events, different things that happen, carry different importance, <gasps> and things are remembered differently by each partner in a long-term relationship. I'm trying to determine now if we're viable in the future. I don't really see it as much as that she's independent as that she's aloof. She kind of does her thing. I kind of do mine. So, you know, I guess for years and years, I've made decisions for myself. You cannot depend on your husband to meet all of your needs. I enjoy the independence. I don't know how it got started, but I've enjoyed it. I so, you know, I guess what? for Sorry. years and years, well, I've made I, I decisions accident. for myself. I you cannot depend on your husband to meet all of your needs. I, I know how it got started. I don't know how it got started, but I've enjoyed it. I just wanted to comment on the, the, what, what they're eating there. Do you think those are like artichokes? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I was paying attention to her coat and then this comment. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was Cody's original pitch to Janelle when he asked her to marry him. You want kids? Need a family to help raise them, but you want to keep your independence? Be my plural wife. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And I completely agree that Janelle is beautiful. I've always said, I thought she's really pretty. I, I love that she said that. I'm going to oh, be my own great. hero. And you also, know, I want to say, kind of funny. Oh, go ahead. I just wanted to say hi to Pomegranatini. And also, Beakerface has not been on the oh, on the no. chat lately. I saw TT's here, and she's doing a little bit better. She's able to type. So hi, TT. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, remember when Robin was She-Ra? And that was like one of the things that Cody admired about her. That she was like she's a phoenix rising kids. from the ashes, Joey. Right, but now Janelle is just like a bitter old independent woman. She's trying to be this independent bitch that just like puts her money in her joint account and then complains about it. Wah wah wah. Yeah. God, what a dick. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Guy. Like, like maybe we lost something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't about Robin. This isn't about our past history. They just put Robin in the COVID crosshairs. This is really about me and Janelle. Okay, the crosshairs. It's the second time he's used that term. Her lack of respect during COVID and for my COVID rules, my desire to protect the family. That's my invitation. You didn't want to protect your family because you didn't even get the fucking vaccine dude exactly and we just want to make this clear again whether you we're not getting political whether you vaccine or not however when he is all like i am mr cdc protocol but as soon as they said like oh the cdc was like we recommend the vaccine he's like no i accept that no, my body my choice again we don't care if you guys got the vaccine or not it's just, we're just calling out pointing out his hypocrisy right, right. Yes. okay i'm definitely gonna do this the find fashion subreddit. Okay. Okay. 
I'm in on it. I'm doing it. Um, wow, Loco Vision. All right. Hey, Loco. I love Loco. COVID crosshairs, Cody. Cody. <laughs> God, seriously, this look at those cool. lemon carcasses. I'm counting one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. That's yeah, a lot. I mean, that's like two whole lemons. I would have, Ooh. I would have full on acid reflux. Even yeah, with and then my he's got like, exam. it looks like there's some balsamic right there. Like he's going to be very. And we have almost er a thousand listeners right now. This is fucking nuts. <gasps> hey, you know what time it is. <laughs> Smash that <laughs> It does help us if you, if you just hit the like button. It, it does. does. It doesn't exactly. Talk to you. All right. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> to a place where you and I have that kind of loyalty. Just stand there like you idiot. She's yes, look up this you don't think I have been. All I'm hearing is Robin is perfect. Robin is great. Robin treats me the way I'm supposed to be treated. You need to all of a sudden be this way. We have a small team. Everybody's got to conform and then we're good. No, that's small not the, that's not what I signed up for. I don't think it's unreasonable for me to <laughs> Janelle should go on I did not sign up for this. Oh <laughs> my god, yes. Like if we could just great podcast, by the way. Yeah, amazing wow. podcast. Check it out. That would be One so good. Best. Or Christine. Uh, or Christine. I mean, yeah. I don't think they would. I think that I think a lot of it is a. Uh, there's a lot of uh what's and it called? and and oh my god. NDAs and then oh anonymity. Oh. Like a lot of Thank NDA you. stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But Gwendolyn and Gwendolyn mm. just got engaged. So uh yeah. congratulations. I watched her engagement video. Did you watch it? No, I didn't. Oh, it's on our, it's on Patreon. We 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 follow her on Patreon. Oh, we do. We are her a Patreon. Friend, her, a Patreon. Friend, God, her girlfriend takes her out to like this forest, and Gwendolyn is wearing like shorts and it's full snow. And I was like, I've never related to somebody more. <laughs> and and, they, and she's just like, oh my god! Remember when she gets the dog for the first time, and she goes, "Wait, oh my so god!" The girl from proposed to her. Dog. She proposed to her girlfriend. The girlfriend proposed to her, and oh, then Christine okay. and Truly both like jump out of the woods. Oh, they're like, there. "Congratulations!" You think she's gonna get a tattoo like Cole from Teen Mom? A tattoo of the of proposal the actual, scene? Yeah, of the proposal. Mm -hmm. I mean, really I think it's a good He's idea for anyone. Really. Cole. <laughs> do, your, do your Chelsea. It's amazing. Dad. Dad. Dad, I'm like feeling I'm like super stuck in the middle. And Adam <laughs> is like doing like his best, okay? Dad. Aubrey, stop crying. Like, not fair. <laughs> Aubrey, why did you lock me out of the bedroom? <laughs> why does Aubrey have a lock in her Aubrey, wake All up. Right. I think you'd be loyal to me and that she would be an accountable person. And maybe it just person. Maybe this is not a good fit. Maybe this doesn't work. After all this, see, he's trying to push her out now. Yep. And look at her so face. She'll he's be like, the one to do it, so that yep. he can be the victim, like Robin. Yep. If I were her, I would do the the classic Adam Sandler things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday. <laughs> I've been here for twenty years, and now you're like, mm, I don't think it works. She needs to just go to the bank, like no. Oh my god! Like, like she needs to leave. Fat olives, our uh -huh. podcast name, and yep. um, and go to the bank and change all of the account numbers and just yep. Oh yeah, it. take all her money and leave his ass. <laughs> it feels like the rules have changed for me a little bit. The rules have changed. Like yeah, I just. All of a sudden, I guess, yeah, I need to, I don't know. Wow. He's like, mm, die, die, die. he's just sitting there. He doesn't know what to say. Janelle is so intimidating too. Like what if Janelle was across the table from you just like going, Oh my God, I'd be super scared. I'm scary. Like, thank you, uh, Victoria. What do you want? What do you want me to say? Yes, thank you guys for the super oh, stickers. Deaner. Thanks, Deaner. Um, 
yeah, no, he doesn't, he doesn't know how to spin this. Cause he's like, okay, well, I already did the angry thing with Christine. I also said, I hope I'm not heartbroken with Christine. So how am I going to spin this one? Cause I am afraid of her and she is sitting across me right now. And, uh, and she has all, all the money. She, I was just going to say, she does. She's the only one, she's the one that knows the password to our uh, Bank of America account. Yeah. She does have all of our taxes for the last seven years. Yeah. <laughs> she does have a job so yeah. hmm, what do i do and she can probably be a petty bitch thank you erica you for the super sticker erica Aww, so check out surreality podcast it's an amazing podcast we love it oh, sorry i'm clicking i'm going like crazy okay um okay so here we go love that coat babe Oh, yeah. Okay. So hold on. Amanda, Amanda says, Amanda, your Amber and Janelle used to give me life. Yeah. That's kind of a chapter of my life that just, it exists in a time where I was with a very bad person. So it's like, I don't know if I want to go back to it yet. Bacon but fingers. We'll see. That's yeah, gonna be a little bacon thingy. Yeah, little bacon We're like fingies. Brianna. Oh, the fingies. fingies. Oh, look. oh, what's up with her hands? All right. Here we go. We were great. I was making my own decisions and we were come together and it felt like it was you were okay with that. It feels like we're unraveling. Oh, it does. I never how pissed thought that I would ever how be in a place where I would be questioning yep. my relationship. But the last few years I've begun to wonder if we're compatible anymore. Maybe this doesn't work anymore for me. I don't know. I'm not even sure it's... We have just arrived at the ver very first commercial break. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We're about two hours in. Um, welcome to Brown Town. <laughs> also, I, I want to say really quickly, just because we have so many more listen uh, watchers than we usually do, I have Tourette's, and that's why I'm, like, doing this, like, weird... I never noticed stuff. it, Amanda. I know, because you're not... Because you're, you're looking down, but, like, I'm just saying, like... That's why I'm and I am not in my years. bathroom taking a shit, okay? <laughs> Small room. If I just wanted anyone to like, said anything out. about me, I would never. I would never ever. Well, who the fuck any sort would? of bathroom related thing? You probably would. Come on. I mean, I've definitely. I mean, the amount of times <laughs> we've texted each other and I'm like shitting pure water is. Probably more than the times we text when I'm not shitting pure water. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, are we jumping ahead like 10 seconds? To come yeah. Back. Okay. All right, we're at 13.54. You got it? Noise. Yes. Noise. This might be the rough stuff, Jody. Oh, okay. Still at that Oh, no, it's still at that Okay. What is this music? It's like... Yeah. Mandolin or something. No, it's just a guitar, but it's very country. Right. I'm evaluating my life. Are we going to be any better than me and Christine if we don't improve something here? And that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's what she's looking for too, you idiot. Sinking. The ship is sinking. I don't know if you can change the way our relationship was for 30 years all of a sudden. I mean, maybe that's a sign that it just doesn't work anymore. Look, I'm not someone who throws the towel in on a marriage. But it seems almost like there's this gulf now, especially where he's like, well, I want this. And I'm like, I, I can't give you that. Is, is this working for us? Is, is it working for you? I don't think you and I know how to be real, real about things with each other. Well, I mean, we've... here's the perfect definition of gaslighting: is that yeah. you can't even. You're I'm not telling even you how we feel. Yeah. It, it, I'm telling you, we. It's not going to work. So where mm -hmm. do I go from here now? Yeah. What do I do now? Because she's thinking. Well, I've been real with you. Oh, we haven't been being real because so I it's my fault. We were right, and now it makes her like the idiot because she's thinking, okay, well, I thought we were being real. You're saying you weren't, so I guess I've been living a lie because that's what you chose for me. 
you didn't give me a choice to be real because you weren't being real, but it's her fault. This is insane. Like when oh my, my ex, bacon, 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 do we just do the, is, is this our, do we just do this? We, yep. Bacon fingers. Yep. Bacon when he would cheat on me and I would confront him about it, he'd be like, you know what? I, can, I, I, I don't need another, his, his ex-wife's name. Mm, that, that crazy bitch. That crazy, that crazy ex, bitch. she was psycho. Yep. He said, "Look, I didn't sign up for this. So uh, if you if you want to leave, you can just leave. You can really go. Fun. You yeah. can go because you didn't do any better. I'm acting crazy. Obviously, you had a functional marriage for a long time, and you're my best friend. You're the person I want to oh. tell everything to. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, but I, I'm, I mean." Redefining us, I mean... Spit it out. We, uh, I, I, uh, He's an to, idiot. To, to say that I'm close to Janelle would be an overstatement. I don't want to have happened with Janelle what has happened with Christine. I mean, you got to know it, too. There's something fundamentally wrong here. Again, gaslighting. Like, you know. You know this. You wrong, know. Right? You know it. Oh, you know. You know what you it. said. You know what's going on here. Look at her face too right here. She's like, mm, just thinking. Mm, but oh, I don't. She's, like, look at her face. Yeah. Mm. She's, she's going into beaker. She's going into I beaker would be, now. Like, I would poop my pants if, she, if I was sitting across from her looking at me like that. Oh, like, good for Lord. sure. And he, he's speechless. He doesn't know what to say because, hmm, Robin isn't there to tell him you're angry, you're hurt, you're heartbroken, you're mad. It's because her sons, it's because she wasn't being loyal to you. So he's just, duh, 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 duh. he doesn't know what to say. God, okay. I'm seeing a lot in the comments of people like going, like, uh, having the same, same experience thing. as me with their ex uh, boyfriends, so that's fun. So men suck, basically. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, not gay yeah. men. Well, some gay men. Well, no. I always say women and gay men are obviously the most highly evolved beings on <laughs> earth. But a lot it's of women, like are horses and farm awful. animals, because they're vicious and they're way smarter <laughs> right. than we are. Is this just what the human condition is? What? He's a philosopher, Jody. <laughs> yeah, he reads Plato all the time. To do everything I can to make this work. I'm not even sure it's possible to come back from where we are. Why does she think I'm singing the breakup song? Because you are. Because you're saying. What are you talking about? You're like he. He has said we haven't been a married couple for a long time, Janelle. Getting up in her face. Gee, I wonder yeah. why. Is this even working for us over. anymore, Janelle? You know all I'm the problems you? we have. You're not loyal. Gosh, I wonder why she thinks something might be I, up. Okay, here's here's a theory. Because now I'm like two shots in. Um, do you think that maybe she like moved her money away and he knows it and he's like, and that's where he like sees the loyal like that's where he's seeing the loyalty. No, she has to. If she told that to Christine in the cul-de-sac, like you will not leave until you are financially stable. There's no way she hasn't been. Also, I think she is putting some in a place that he doesn't have it. But I also he think, it. Well, yes, and I also think she is putting towards the family so that, because she knows Cody would use it against her if she wasn't because right now she's oh doing God. everything he said he wanted to happen he wanted them to build on coyote pass he wanted them to oh, save money he, so yeah. she's doing all of this stuff oh by the way i meant to say this in the um i just remembered in the mortal love episodes they were talking about the scene where well there's a couple of them when he goes to her rv and they're yeah. talking about moving to back. Empty, to empty the shitter. <laughs> right. Yes. He starts talking about the cistern and why she needs to go get water. And it's because they did hire someone to put this huge pipe from the cistern to bring it to the land. But oh the person stalled out 
and they haven't been able to find him. So they probably found some like guy who was going to do it on the side or do it cheaply or something. And so now they're stuck with a cistern that they can't use in like a half finished pipe from the cistern to the land. And then they just, they lost track of the guy. They can't really like find where he's at. So now we're in, uh, there's something, I, I don't know if you've heard of this little documentary called uh, there's something wrong with Anne Diane. Have you heard of yeah. that? Mm, just oh, a yeah? little, mm. little bit. I may I, mean, have... I can pull up my search history right now and and pull up how I've been trying to find out what's been going on with. I could pull up my picture and history son. and show you where I passed on the Taconic. Yes. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Yes. What and, about Aunt Diane? And Mole said, uh, "Do you, can't you just send Jody a picture of just a highway and that'll be good enough?" And I was like, "No," because. There's it's something wrong there. with bacon fingers. <laughs> no, mole. Like, oh, mole. Mole, 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 mole. Right, right, right. By the way, guys, check out our podcast. We love to hate everything, like, on just iTunes. Yeah. What's the episode called? Hot, hot, hot? Feeling hot, hot, hot. Yeah, go back. It's, like, it's one of our first out. 10 episodes. And it's, it's like an Easter egg at the end. I tell yeah, this I story know. and it's insane. Uh, and you will you will laugh. Um, what was I saying? Oh, in the documentary, There's Something Wrong with Aunt Diane. Doesn't one of the lawyers go like missing for a while? Or like they get, they're getting some guy to test her. Oh, yeah. Something, and then he goes missing. And then he's like, yeah, no, I, I don't know. Oh, boy. You don't remember oh, that? I, I got to go back and rewatch it, but I'm never going to be prepared for that scene, you know? Oh, well, well, yeah, we know yeah, what you're talking not about. Not ready for that one. Okay, let's, let's get to this. God, I want to see her leave his ass. It's rough. We're not getting this. Savannah's going to be 17. It's almost like we're on the cusp of this empty nest thing, and it feels like we need to do a reset. Yeah. Yeah, that's all he has to say. Yeah. I still have so much affection for Cody. I, I, I don't know if it's love. <gasps> well, I mean, I feel like we're here at the edge of a, of a cusp of a reset. I don't know. Uh, I want to eat something before Me it gets too. cold. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not safe enough for me to say you safe. Enough also, with the safe. I can't, yeah, I can't with, with the, the safe. safe. But just oh 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 sorry. Uh, we're we're in the middle of like basically uh divorce, but uh if you don't mind, I can just uh if I can just ooh. We're on the ooh, cusp I, of a ooh, reset in our marriage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna eat my uh yeah, my artichokes or whatever here so it doesn't get yeah. cold. Oh shit, I tore it wrong. Let me just uh can I get I'm another asking basket? Are we staying together? And your yeah. first reaction is, let she me knows. eat something first. Oh, she's pissed. And she's she's like, yeah. She's chomping on ice. She's like, <laughs> yeah. God, he is such a child. That's it. Like, just, oh, God. <laughs> what an asshole. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to eat. Divorce. I need you to, to help me heal, please. But I'm going through her job. Question. Are you a strong enough woman to? Help me heal. Who has you know, Roman now? We're resetting and stuff like that. It just seems like, yeah, if we're resetting and I don't know what, I can't define my own family. Well, don't that's you a like you problem. Us too? So now, now they're talking and he's just like eating olives and like spitting out the pit and like putting it on the plate. Like he's just so disengaged from this oh, conversation. He wants to eat his food. That's it. Yeah. I have olives. He can multitask. At all of. If I have to be a certain way in order to make this work, or well, maybe a yeah, maybe a married couple and a life partner. Not I... <gasps> the look he just See, gave so her. That's like... what I was doing all this time, and I thought we had a functional relationship. We haven't. I mean, well, it's. We don't sleep together is what he's. Yeah. Do you think they've had sex exactly six times? <sighs> Just like for their kids. 
And I mean, this again, not, not to for... reuse the term, but gaslighting. He's saying, he's. She's like, I thought we were good though. He's like, no, well, no, it's well, been bad forever. He was obviously fine not having sex with her until now. I mean, are we being crazy just jumping to that conclusion? Because it seems like that's that's the subtext of what's going on here. Yeah, they don't have sex. He's like, well, I mean, come on, Janelle, we're not really married. It's a sexless marriage. Like, we're like, let's not joke ourselves now. But she's like, but I've made that okay in my life for you. And you seemed okay with it up until we're here at Fat Olives 20 years later. Now you're telling me that. Yeah. Well, this she is... has no tender age kids anymore. Right. 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 So and the, the ones that point? are adults, she should be controlling so that they come running to daddy yeah. and say sorry. Okay. Buying an RV and moving into it. Look, I understand. Well, let me just explain a few things, okay? Single I was homeless, decision. Cody. Let me just mansplain a few Single things, woman okay? decision, he just said. Single woman decision. She He just had hates no women. Home. He hates women. He hates women. Cody Brown hates women. Is there anything else to say? Okay, so he would have been pissed if she kept that house because he didn't like the house. He said that, and she said that. If I were to stay in that house and buy it, which I didn't even like the house, he didn't like it. He never went there. wasn't good enough. No. There was no other houses to rent at the time that I could afford to be able to save to build on the land, which he says he wanted. So that's why she got the RV. But now he's just decided like, ooh, I'm going to use that RV as ammo. I'm going to use it. Well, because Robin was like, Cody, I can't have you sleeping out there on Coyote Pass. Ooh, fifth and a fifth wheel. In the fifth will. Don't. Mm. Oh my god. I oh, want the doggy Janelle. beds. Mm. More like a foot bath. Oh god. Those, those guns. <laughs> I like to see your kids without your husband for holidays. <gasps> Single woman decisions. Okay, I'm spitting what? mad now. So I could stay home and hang She's out with he and Robin. Spitting or mad, Jody. I'm. She's not mad. allowed to go see her children if he's not there with her. No, Jody, single woman. Yeah, Women. so she's supposed to stay there with Robin and her kids. She's not a okay. So then, Cody, why don't you go with her? Go with her to see the kids then. Oh, but the, she has tender age kids at home. Little kids he can't leave them. He can't leave right. them. Okay, got it. Got Robin's it. Robin's kids. The RV. He didn't show up and say, "Let's help find your rental." No, he was just sort of like he was MIA. I was begging Janelle to rent or to buy. She would have been able to afford the monthly payment on the mortgage, but she got mad at me when I was trying to get her to do that. What a bitch! I the trailer's been a hot bet. Okay, so hold on a second. So, so he wanted her to go find something to rent or to buy because she wouldn't that be afford it. But wouldn't that be a single woman decision if she were to go rent and buy a place? No, because he told her to do it, but he didn't go with her. Right, but he told he, her. He that. has to be. What, oh, okay, so oh, so what you're saying is okay. I think I got it. He gets to pick and choose when he goes with her to things and when she can make decisions. Right. As long he as he says, said to do it, then we're okay. Oh, Jody, well, you're not understanding makes, because you're a woman. That makes more sense. That makes Just more. That, okay, so that's why to... he doesn't respect her. Okay, I. Right. right. Yeah. No. Yeah, Men respect it. women who just do what they. Okay. Dogs in my bed are a hot button. Dogs in my bedroom are a hot button. Okay. Usually the dogs have slept by the side of the bed. Recently, they have started to sleep in the bed more. I'm careful. I'm careful with the hair, but it's a thing he likes to complain about when it's, things are, especially when things are rough. It's just something he can. I don't, I don't let men in my bed that my dog can't sleep in. I guarantee you there's more areola hair all over Robin's bed than there is right? dog hair. Please. That's a really Please. good point, Jody. <laughs> We've oh seen all the tangles in that mullet. There's aerial just, hair all over the place. I just don't trust anyone who doesn't like animals. Like, who doesn't... It's an excuse that he's using why he doesn't want to get in the bed. If Robin had dogs, oh, play, it, 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 they'd be all over the place. <laughs> Trivette, I, I'm liking this one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies, white, white, do you want to put it up, Jody? I'll, oh, I'll yeah. grab it. 
I'll grab yeah. it. I mean, God, we are so stupid sometimes. We really for any of the to, women, like, for any out. of the women that are watching this, yeah. um, is this it? No, wait, where is it? Uh, above that. See, we're we're so dumb. We need men to like. I know. Us I'm, where I'm things are. Stupid. It's like so. Oh, crazy. here it is. Here it is. Oh wait. Oh, we, we both, both clicked the same time. We okay. Both clicked at the same time. Okay. Our emotions will not change the facts. Boot lamp. Boot lamp. Boot lamp. I'm going to be flexible. Mm. Spelled it wrong. Okay. So when the hair, market. Hair on point, by the way, in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The market is right here now. Wait, wait, market. Okay. So, like, Janelle. When she was selling her her house, the market was like here, which is where you want it, and then it, it can go right down, right, down. and that's and why you gotta sell it there. We need to sell now. Yeah. Okay. Be flexible. Do you guys get it? I know it's hard for us to kind of. It is so hard. These decisions that Janelle makes, like where she's going to rent a house and buying an RV, make an impact on my life. Oh. When I'm not really consulted for it. It's like, I don't want to live in an RV, but if I don't live in the RV with her, then somehow or another, I am abandoning her. I know I don't really want to give up my. So complicated. I need to consider <laughs> you more. I mean, do you want the plural family still? No, I question it all the time, I guess. Well, me too. I had to really question myself like about it. Like, yeah, yeah me year. too, I Cody. Yeah. I feel connected to you. I mean, you're my best friend. You're my lover, everything. Like, I just, I want to stay. Really maybe well. we figure it out. Maybe we don't. She was like trying not to smile there. She's like, to me yeah. why at this point, this juncture, and maybe it's simple, but can you explain it? Why it's easier to have a relationship with Christine than it is to have a relationship with Robin? Because she's a bitch. Because <laughs> yeah, Robin sucks. I was going to say the Robin same word, but I know people get touchy everywhere. about it. God, because Robin is a selfish, manipulative bitch. That's why, Cody. How are you not seeing it at this point? And her kids are fucking annoying and my kids are cool and they don't want to be around her annoying kids. Well, no, Cody knows it, but he's also a selfish manipulator. You think bitch. Cody knows that Robin's kids are annoying? No, he doesn't. He thinks sweet oh, no, he, is I, so cute. Sweet. He thinks it's cute when she's being a pest. It's cute. When she's when she, wearing a full polygamist uh, dress yeah. and uh, hanging on And she runs truly. around and she's just she's like, like literally giving she's giving truly Caleb uh, Caleb God the name is Caleb she's, and she's Cody yes hanging she's giving truly COVID in that moment because yep. the whole family has COVID they all get it? Well, I mean, like, Christine and I have a relationship. Oh, yeah. Oh, <gasps> wait. Oh, just wait. Just fucking wait. We're only halfway through this episode right now. It's I've never been excited is, to hear a child has been diagnosed with COVID. Part. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. I don't. Ariel, I don't think gets it. But, oh, uh, okay. Ooh, just, well, now I'm just, let down. You, like, got my hopes up. Well, Jody, do you want me to tell you this? Aurora gets no, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't, don't tell okay, me. no, wait, no, wait. wait. Aurora doesn't get it. Well, just wait, wait. <gasps> it's so fucking okay. funny. A lot of it's just history. The kids in common and history. And they, she was there when the kids were little. I just really haven't had that much opportunity to interact with Robin on a, on a daily basis like that. Christine and I were kind of stuck together. We tried to bring this all together. And, and I realized the dichotomy. This is why Christine's leaving, I think. It isn't just because of me. Yeah, I'm looking at her. And um, she's it actually out of is. And she's gotten out of the storm. But she's out of the storm she created. We all. Um, she's out of the shit storm she created. Uh, actually, not Cody. How's how's life going for you right now, Cody? Yeah, how's this feeling? How's this uh, experience? Everything here of looks fat great. Olives? Great. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all of his relationships, like, just listen to what Cody says about relationships. Because if we do that, everything is going to be totally fine. Right? Yeah. Cindy Peterson. Yeah, no, no, she did not create it. She fucking no. supported the family. 
Yeah, the she juggled thing. the shitstorm for She paid off Robin's Victoria's Secret credit card debt. This isn't... God. I mean, again, we're all saying it's like the word, but it is. Like, this is gaslighting. Yeah. And, and uh, Nancy says the patriarch system yep. created that and the bad management of funds and inability to care. That's the thing. It's like, it doesn't even, like, bother me if, like, a man's being an asshole, really. But it's more just the straight up women hating. Oh yeah. Well they're like, he dumb. just hate he hates women. Mm -hmm. And he hates and he, that they can do it on their own without him. Yep. He used to be he used to be like up here and to them. And now because they can see who he is and they make their own money, he's like down here. And he isn't like and, that. And a man and he's oh, looking man. at them because they're up here now. Right. And he's down here, <laughs> and it makes him feel <laughs> sad. Had part in that, Cody. But it's like, yeah. yeah, it's not working, and I didn't want to quit. I wasn't a coward. I wasn't. I wasn't. I <laughs> like, like a dog just, protesteth too yeah. much. Cody. I wasn't a coward. Okay, I wasn't. I wasn't even. Remember la oh, last? Because last week when it, like he's like pulling when he's like revving his car out of the. Christine's driveway. Oh. She God, hey guys, coward. you know what time it is? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they just laughed. We just uh, five people laughed. <laughs> we'll smash that <laughs> like. We had it. Five people just came in and immediately just left. A taste. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I, didn't I didn't want a divorce on my record here. Isn't this so attractive when you hear a guy like whining and yelling? Oh, it's, it's hot. Like, no, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty horned up. Doesn't even care, but she does care about my ex-wife. It's heartbreaking. He keeps trying to bring it up, and I think he's looking for validation from me. But I just, I just think it's really dangerous territory. I feel really bad because Christine talks about lack of intimacy and all these things that were problems, and that was not my marriage experience. Cody and I were great on all fronts. Janelle was always really secure with her. Yeah, weird. That's like kind of what Christine said, that they had a great relationship until... Uh, right. Wait, what, what, what happened? Oh, Robin came along. Uh, Martini right. Lynn just sent oh, us $20. Thank you. She, I love this comment. Y'all are thunder jackets. Do you know what that is, Jody? Like the like calming jacket thing. Yeah, for like a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't watch. Well, maybe they, they may be for humans too, but I just know it for yeah. most. But don't watch without you or risk being triggered so badly you will chew hose through your <laughs> furniture, throw yourself through a sliding door. I don't like that oh, story, babe. Uh, don't do the sliding. <laughs> Mary doesn't do sliding doors. Okay. Ooh. And then run around the neighborhood for hours until exhausted. Yeah. No. I need. We all need to watch together. That's oh, what. Like I was for sure. Yeah, I can't and, imagine watching this alone, even though I know that you did. Well, I mean, how much was I texting you at four thirty in the morning, though? I was like, Jody. Holy oh, and shit. I was up. Jesus and I Christ. Was up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so true. It's all about his experience. No one else has experienced anything. So the way Cody experienced his marriages, that's how all of them must have. So they're crazy yeah. for seeing things that he didn't see. Didn't happen that way. Right. This is Christine's. God, like, wait, has Christine even been seen yet? Is mm. this it? I don't know. Okay. Oh, so oh, there's a thousand now, by the way. Even <gasps> when they were going through so struggles, bad. she was always like, "Yeah, this is just marriage. There's ups and downs." Oh my gosh, our relationships were vastly different from the get go. We can work mm. this stuff out, but you know, we're look at how he's sitting right now. He's like, "Yeah, the body language." King of the it's castle. The King it's the Peyton. Peyton body language. That's how yeah. Peyton sits. I was noticing that because I just recently watched the episode where they go to march on the Capitol or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You remember? Uh, and I like, love my wives. Arr! Yeah, we can tell. Yeah. And they're like, Peyton, are you going? And he's like, no. And they're like, why not? And he's like, no reason. I'm just not going. But he's like sitting like this the whole time. And he's like, yeah, the move to uh, Las Vegas was really rough. And then they show the flashback which we, we all, all know remember yes. where Hayden's sitting there and he's sitting there like this, like this is just kind of his body language, which I think probably uh, demands a looking into. Yeah. Um, 
what is it? Uh, hang on. Sorry. Uh, Random6663 gave us a super thanks. sticker. Thank you. All. all right. We're going through a transition where I think we're going to have to work it out. Yeah. Well, I mean, Cody, I think you and I are at a very logical place where the kids logical. are now leaving. And also I'm looking at you and I'm like, oh, wow, maybe we should have a better relationship. I agree. <laughs> well, I think we agree on that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, super well, convincing. He wants to work on it. Yep. Yeah. 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 In his mind, he's like, I gotta talk to Robin about this. See what Robin if thinks. he like had sex with Janelle, Robin would fucking kill him. Oh my god. Oh no, that would never happen. I mean, imagine up. though, if he went back to the house and if Robin said, Yes, Cody, you should work on your relationship with Janelle, you should go spend time with Janelle, he would. He absolutely would. If Robin asked him to do it and told him to do it, he would. So she does have control over him. Yeah. She does rule the roof. She does say what goes. Well, she told him to sleep on Christine's couch, though. And he was like, what? No. No. Pomegranate yeah, Aw, uh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, uh, Sheen's special. I know. I know. Like child labor and all. Um. I look like an 18. <laughs> And she says, Amanda, you look like an 18-year-old, okay? That's a compliment. Are you kidding? Oh, you have the flu. Pomegranate. Mm -hmm. hey, I love having the flu because it gives you an excuse to not do anything. So use oh, I wish. I'm wishing for the flu. And Ninja Granny says, crossing your arms is body language for protecting yourself. So that makes me really sad for Peyton. Yeah, but for Cody, he's protecting himself. I think it's, he's like protecting his manhood, like, you know. With Cody, everything he does is just aggressive, I think. Right. Yeah. God. Still working those sunglasses in his head. Jody, I'm just thinking about the few, the next few scenes that you're about to watch and how much the mood is going to shift. Like, have Kleenex ready. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm fighting for our relationship. I'm here, but I don't know what to do. Leave his ass. I'm trying to get us in a place where we have a good, healthy marriage. Oh, I mean, it's All right, so going obvious. Ahead 10 seconds. I feel yep. so far. All right, we are currently at 2228. And, and it's about to Robin's get house. real rude. Weird. Okay. Yeah, weird. That is weird. I got the music. It's been 20 months since the Corona apocalypse started. Uh, after all this time sequestering, all this fight over, over uh, being careful about COVID, and now, um... it's like what? 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 Like, what? It's been 20. It's been 20 minutes. 20, <laughs> He's blown a Janelle. 20 days. <laughs> 20 days since the Corona apocalypse. <laughs> it's like um. Fucking the Blair Witch the Project. <laughs> yeah, Witch right. Project. I'm so scared right now. <gasps> it's the Brown Witch Project. Yeah. <laughs> it's like right. boogers. Thank you, Loco. From Boy Mom and Loco. Thank you, Loco. Oh, they are. Mm. Yesterday, I took them to a COVID testing facility and we tested. Brianna it to be so formal. for COVID-19. COVID testing facility. Um, Stop There's calling it COVID-19. Right? You Christ. sound like such a stupid DJ when you say 19. Because <laughs> isn't this like 2021, too, at this point? This is like 2028. <laughs> <laughs> God. Like, we're oh. actually on COVID-22 right now. <laughs> and he's still yeah, saying right? the 19. Oh, my God. Amanda, your dog is adorable. Walter, stinky pet. <sighs> Poopy pants. Walter. No, All leave right, him alone. Go. Leave him alone. Well, I just got nervous. He's been... Oh, tune our violins. Tune our violins. Okay, so this was October 2021. Okay, so can... just say COVID, you idiot. I went to a COVID-19 testing facility. You drove through CVS. I... That's Relax. when I broke, yeah, broke my ankle last year. And when I was in the hospital, I didn't even have to wear a mask. Okay, well, you're in so, Canada and like, because oh, well, yeah. they're all like, okay, you're all going to get COVID, but it's all going to be free healthcare if you get it. Yeah, so you're like, all, no you're all, you're yeah, fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> God, here we go. I tested Brianna. negative and Robin tested negative, but now Robin and Brianna have had the same symptoms from the onset. 
we pretty much need to assume that all of us have it if one of us has it. Best guess that we've got because they're all open mouth kissing all day. Oh, I mean, they have like open herpes sores. Like, that she's they like, I open mouth, mouth kiss, kiss all Brianna, over everyone all day. So obviously, yeah, obviously. That is that somehow or another it was brought home from the from school. Oh, I didn't only school. Think to myself that it would be COVID. I want you to watch Are the body slow? language on this couch and just how much they're both Robin. I just how didn't. much they are okay. Robin. Okay. What? I didn't think I would get COVID. Cody. I mean, they went to school. Were they ever socialized? And also, I'm very, I'm very upset by how much Aurora looks like Cody since they're, what's the word? Related. <laughs> <laughs> because, again, her I dad is Cody's like her dad. cousin. Yeah. Oh, thank and you, and Titi. You just relax. Thanks, Titi. I'm glad you're getting better. Yeah, Amanda, quit gatekeeping Canada, okay? What does that mean? What is gatekeeping? Oh, like, oh, you know. You I don't know what I don't know. Know that means. You've known our whole relationship, what that me. means. I spent more than you half know. my life in the States. I have earned this. Okay, here we go. Because it was so, like, feared and talked about. I was just like, I I wasn't going to get COVID. Brianna was at school social distancing and wearing masks. They had all these rules at school. We're still sanitizing and we're doing everything. So I still, I'm still, like, in shock that somehow she picked it up. So yesterday, I felt pretty Look at this. uh, Look at this. Handsome woman. Like, I honestly think that she, like, rubbed, like, white makeup on herself. Yeah, this is a bit much with the hoodie on. Calm down. She has, a she has, like, the the Crypt Keeper, the, what do they call it? The, you know, like, the the death dude with the the Grim Reaper. Yeah. (laughs) I'm sick. Mm. The night I had a, a fever. Oh, you a fever! Oh, a fever! Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, first of all, there's Robin coughing. Meanwhile, we're watching a uh, what? Five brand new cars in the driveway. Hang yeah. Out? Well, yeah, that's cool. The tender age children need, each need to have their own car, Amanda. I also don't see either of Cody's two trucks in the driveway, so that means oh, they have see. six cars at this house. Hold on, let me see this. Um. Wow. Okay. So there's a new SUV. There's like a suburban or there's like a truck with a thing on the back. Her minivan, another car. Yeah. So they have a minimum of five cars. To be fair, it might be production. But do you think Robin even lets production park there? They're not going to park. No, I don't think they're. No, you park next door. No, I bet you that white one is probably Brianna's, that little like coupe thing. The other one is probably Dayton's because he does like the outdoorsy adventure stuff. The big SUV. Well, Cody needs to have a sports car and a big SUV. Robin's True. is the uh, minivan. And like you said, we're not seeing the yeah. other truck or a sports. Right. So there's a minimum there's of six trucks. cars. Minimum, minimum of six cars. God. Man, yucky cough. She's got oh, a yucky she, cough. She actually She's said. She's feeling cough. cough. She actually said cough, cough, cough. yucky cough, <coughs> cough. Mm. I mean, I know what it's like to fake being sicker than you are. And like this is my dad you know. would come home from work and make sure I wasn't even watching TV. I wasn't even allowed to watch Price is Right. <laughs> I know what bad, it's like. I mean, no, that is bad. If you can't watch the prices right, you know it's bad. She yeah. is playing this up, you stupid idiot. Now, obviously, it's the school's bad, fault. Cody. It's obviously the school's fault, right? Right. Well, also, okay, you know what fault it is? First of all, probably get the vaccine. Second of all, maybe don't have such insane COVID rules because you would have built up, what, an immunity of some kind. Right? 
I mean, this it's just stupid. Like, there's, haven't there's I? Be like, like, oh, we, we've been doing everything, so we must have been in school. Okay, well, you were also hugging up on a, a attorney and McKelty and running around with Truly. And they've been, I mean, they're, what are we talking about? Coda, you went to the wedding and all that other kind of crap, so please. They can't ever do anything wrong, no. <clears throat> Look at this picture. Look, can you see this? Look. <clears throat> <clears throat> cough! Cough! This was like what I was teaching, and there'd be the kids trying to play it up. Like, <clears throat> hey, little tip, little tip, guys. I taught the. I, I came up with this myself in sixth grade because you know how you would go down to the nurse's office and they like feel your head, or like your teacher would feel your head. You would sit there like this, and if you rubbed your head, you get some friction going, and then when they come feel your head, it feels warm. Ah, and then you at least go down to the nurse, but then the secretary at our school was like a real big bitch, Mrs. Conrad. She never let you're anyone like, go home. You're the female Ferris Bueller. Right. <laughs> Robin's wiped okay. out. Brianna, both of them headaches, chills, fever. Ooh, 101 degrees. Restlessness, uh, tightness in the body. Aching, okay, aching, stop muscles. reading off of the after visit summary, Cody. Like, <laughs> right. oh my god, restlessness was one of the. <laughs> He's. It, it's like one of the commercials where like side effects are yeah. explosive diarrhea, restlessness, <laughs> upset stomach, diarrhea. My God, you idiots! Yeah, I'm like, this you is just my daily life, Cody. So you're yeah, fine. Have you ever been so sick where you're like? Oh, I'm just feeling restlessness and achiness and sore tum tum restlessness. Restlessness. That is, oh I God. mean, come on. Restlessness. I can't believe how awful I feel so far. Pretty worried about everything. I'm worried about. Oh, my kids and, oh. I mean, just. Cody and stuff. God, I can't believe it, man. COVID-19 after 20 months. Stop <laughs> saying COVID-19. Man! I can't. 2021, he's oh still God. saying COVID-19. Because he thinks it makes it sound... Uh, Smart? Like... <laughs> no, he, he like... Robin is COVID nineteen. He thinks it sounds more coronavirus or more. Yeah. Oh, God. God. Of avoiding it. it's crazy. I'm sitting here just going through the motions here. Just also, by the way, and and, and no one in the everyone in the comments is on our side. It looks like, but oh, okay. Like <sighs> this is so good. How did Cody get restless leg syndrome from COVID? <laughs> Oh and like here, uh, Lizzie says, I had COVID for over 10 days, wasn't over it at all, but hospital sick, not at all. Again, we're like, it's a She's real thing. Fine. Yes, people got very sick. That's but what I meant. Cody's got to like, play it up to such an extent. I believe it. I believe it existed, but I mean, Robin doesn't have it. Of course, it. people died from it, but Robin right. going, <clears throat> Robin probably has it, but she's not sick. Oh, I just got to chill, Cody. I got to chill. I'm restless. Restless Restlessness. Mm. Brianna. All right. All right. So let's hear how he's Florence Nightingale now. Hydrated. <laughs> okay. Like he's a Civil War uh, nurse on the battlefield so now. To, trying to sort of manage this. Keep everyone hydrated. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a loser. Dork. Yeah. That's normal. 99.8 is like. An average temperature. That is Isn't barely it? a temperature. It is right. It's barely a temperature. Barely. I feel like I'm. I feel like because I run hot. I feel like I'm constantly running at about a 102. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not like, that's cool. Eight. I'd be freezing if I was running at a. Nice He's pointing up to his hair. Look at his hair. He's like, he went in the bathroom. He like patted it down. Yeah, a stupid so thermometer in his mouth. He needs a bandage, tie it in a bow on top. He has an old timey yeah. toothache. Like <laughs> he, has, he has his feet like in a bowl of of steaming water. Like, why mm, so cold? 
<laughs> he has a St. Bernard like carrying um oh <laughs> carrying. yeah yeah <laughs> some some whiskey or bourbon in a little flask <laughs> Actually, that would be truly, truly would come in with a little thing around her neck, delivering medicine to him. And he'd be like, don't touch me. Oh, God. Only me. What a loser. <laughs> taking, taking your, taking your temperature when it's at only 99.8. Like you wouldn't even feel if you had a fever coming on at that point. Yeah, it is so slight. You I would actually, not get sent home from school for 99.8. I 99. sleep with a frozen, um, Ugh. I sleep with a frozen like towel around my face every night <sighs> because That's, you're like, most of my too. laundry because I run hot and you're it feels like, so stuck good. in your brain for, for months. It just for feels years. so good. <laughs> God, go to your mind. Man cold. Uh, well, I think six days of COVID in the house. Whoa, oh, well, nobody is more dramatic when they're sick than men. Oh, look at him. Like he's like purposely just moping Can around. Can you talk about. The W. The W. The wound. Oh, oh, I was, you know what I was thinking? Are you was allowed the to talk sister about wives don't, like the, the ring, remember? Oh, yeah, no, the, the it's sister It's like two wives. S's yeah. that looks like strong woman, Cody. Can you break down oh, the wound the or do you not want to do it because this is free? Oh, God, I don't even remember. Oh, the wound you know, the that lasted for like months. There was bandages. He Jody's husband the had, on the had a scab on his leg. Careful. We'll, and, we'll talk about it on uh, Patreon. A, a lingering wound. Picture. What? A lingering wound. It was a scab. <laughs> and he was fine. <gasps> Unbelievable. I feel like crap. Oh, you do? I, I don't know why I've got COVID. I don't know why it's so bad. I don't know why I'm out of my mind. I have... Probably because you're running you house You sound house. fine. Yeah, yeah, you, you sound fine. I mean, he, oh, okay, whoa. Like, <laughs> I just pause in it where it comes from him and then to the next scene where he's wearing his days. bright new blue shirt and his hair days. is insane. I didn't know what day it was. Talk to Gabriel a little bit. I mean, I just... Okay, so listen to that. He just said he called Gabriel because okay. Gabriel also had it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Oh, oh, wait. Let's like, just pause right you know. there for a second. So, hmm, Janelle and her kids had it before, but suddenly, oh, <gasps> ew, Julia, this is <laughs> Get that I mean, off the of uh, Ew, it's true. I don't want her to by him anyway. Gross. Also, not uh, into that. Babe. Brandy says, um, "Man cold, man flu is very serious. Very. No one has ever had that bad of a cold." <laughs> um. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, we'd have to find a time period because the wound was all over the place. Last if you guys followed time? have followed us for just go back to our Patreon and listen to <sighs> every episode, I guess, and you can follow the wound. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, uh, anyway, back to the fact that Janelle and her kids have all had it before, and they were not boohooing as much as Cody is now. Oh, no. so Cody is now going to call the people who have already had it that he wouldn't go near them and said it was their fault, and was like, "Yeah, well, you guys deserved it." Now he's calling them for advice. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, he's making, I think he's trying to find someone to blame. So they somehow brought it around him. Right. Hang on. I'm just making myself a second drink. Oh, yeah. Second drink. Second drink. Pam Beasley. Such a Pam Beasley. Uh, oh, SJ says, you? one of my best friends has breast cancer, just finished eight rounds of chemo, will be having surgery in January, and then several rounds of radiation, and she doesn't complain or act dramatic. <laughs> Cody, you're fine. Right? Yeah, you know, because I'm out of my mind. I'm just suffering in this weird place. Suffering. Yeah, somebody set up in the suffering. comments earlier. Has he never been sick before? Have mm. you never been sick? He probably has, but because he had Janelle and Christine and maybe Mary around, he was able to get away from all the kids, and he could just go take care of himself and. 
probably go in Mary's bedroom and isolate. But now he's stuck in the house with Robin and all her sick kids. So he actually and you know, does have the to whole stuff house, up a little bit. Like that episode we did where they were all, um, where Mary runs into the side of the house on the sled. <laughs> and they yeah. all were sick and the windows were fogged oh, up. And it was oh, just like a... Dripping that's what's happening on the windows. Yeah, that's what, and Mary was like, beat that! Oh, God, so beat disgusting. That. And Janelle uh, was actually coughing there. It was like a hearty, <laughs> phlegmy cough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Again, yeah, I'm getting my tissues ready I here. I have had COVID twice and it was never like because you were this. vaccinated. Vaccinated. Again, we're just I'm playing the hypocrisy. Do whatever you want to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I got my tissue box right here. In January. Ooh, I just ripped it. Okay. No, seriously. Like, I'm going to just, I'm going to let this whole scene play through. Okay. And okay. then we'll discuss it afterward. Okay. I didn't even have a fever. I just lost my smell. October rolls around, specifically October 11th, my birthday. Um, and dad calls me. And we have a small discussion about how bad my COVID was. I shouldn't have done this, but I did anyway. Um, I didn't remind him that it was my birthday because I wanted to see if he remembered. And he didn't. And so to him, it was just a phone call, you know, just asking me about COVID. Oh, babe. Oh my God, this is heartbreaking. I hate that he cares this much about stupid dad. It was a lot worse than just a phone call for me. after that he tried to call me back tell me happy birthday and make up for it and that's the last time I ever talked to my dad what a piece of shit I, I mean, I've i been there I mean almost all my life not to get into dad stuff and right my as dad the last asked and, like... um, and you know, thankfully I was able to kind of you know have my dad would like make amends in the end before he passed, but I've been there and that it's gut wrenching. And it's because he realized later, Oh, I got to cover for myself and call back and make it seem like everything's fine. Because probably He's Janelle calling, texted it's him. It's all about I him. I think probably that, that conversation happened. Janelle texted him and was like, Hey asshole, it's your son's birthday. I don't think he did. I think probably Robin or one of the kids said something like, oh, it's October 11th. It's Gabe's birthday. And he was like, oh, shit. I just, I'm, I know I cry too much, but I'm, that was no, really you don't. hard to watch. Like, I've it's watched, because anyone who's been, I mean, even if you weren't in this position, it's just. <sighs> like, I'm that sorry, really I'm, I'm not crying because I'm more upset for him because it is such a selfish. Like, I almost want you to call calling, in Googie right now so that I can say hello. He's calling to get to get like sympathy and advice for himself and for yeah. the wife and the children that he does going? care about. He didn't care about Gabe and Janelle and, and Savannah when they had COVID. He said it was their fault. Like, well, yeah, they get what they deserve. Yeah, that's it. But now when it's about him, he wants all the advice and then to call back later and be like, Oh, yeah, I was gonna wish you happy birthday, and you know he was probably like, "Oh, I, I said at the beginning, but I wasn't sure if you if you heard it." Uh, making excuses for himself, absolutely. And it no, if you wanna, that just if like you wanna... shows how I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, no, you go, you go. And I was gonna say that Gabe is 
actually still cares and loves his dad this much, despite how shitty Cody has been even up into this point, goes to show, Cody, your kids have exactly. been trying nonstop. That's the thing, is that Gabe has been the Ugh. one that's been kind of like the most like aggressive toward Cody. Not aggressive, but like because he's hurt aggressive. because it is coming from a hurt place when he starts cry, like yeah. i i can't not cry when i see someone else crying now let's head on over to uh cody win oh. brown's instagram oh check okay. out the comments okay, okay. Can't reach uh go to about right. eight hours ago up. <laughs> right. all right so the last post was november 2nd scroll, 2021 scroll down. you'll see you'll see a familiar uh Oh, wait, Literally comments right. are closed on that. No. On the no, Christine's oh, the, decision no, the, to uh, leave? The, the most recent, yeah, no, not, not oh, the Oh, the one below one. it, okay. Yeah, the one below Our it. backyard, there was snow, lightning, a rainbow sunset. Yeah, <gasps> it's just scroll Go down to therapy for it. narcissism one minute ago. <laughs> but, but you'll see an icon that looks familiar to you. <laughs> Oh no! I may or oh, may no, not I'm have scrolling. at five o'clock in the morning. Rage posted a comment <gasps> and edited it. We love it. to hate pod. Bare minimum, as a parent is remembering your child's birthday, you can't even make the non-Robin kids feel special for twenty-four hours a year. Deadbeat. <laughs> That's thirteen likes. Thirteen people well, liked it. Guess what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Smash, smash that, that like. like guys go smash you got 14 that now like. smash that like wow but wow. it's true it's bare minimum oh the his uh instagram it's is knowing lit. your kids fucking birthdays wow good god do you remember the story of when i forgot my mom's birthday one year and how how fucking sick she played it do you remember this this was pretty recent though, wasn't it? No, no, no. It was when I was married ago? to Brad. It was probably, I don't know, 15 years ago. But um <laughs> but she played <laughs> thank you, Lisa Ann. I approve that message. She says, everyone go smash that like on that comment. Yeah. But my mom's birthday is two or three days after Christmas. And I'm only saying that because my grandpa, like her dad birthday is also two two or three days after christmas so okay, i always forget okay. which is who but <laughs> it was like the 29th and she called me and she's like hey have you, so you've been busy huh and i'm like no not at all i've been having a great time and she's <laughs> like oh oh so you haven't been doing anything you haven't been like super busy and i was like no it's great I'm, i've been great <laughs> she's oh, like, yeah, no. it's my birth. i mean the way she played it was i mean it, I will never forget her. I mean, the guilt. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's Kaczynski guilt right there. I mean, I've had my birthday forgotten a lot. I'm the fourth of four. I kind of get it. My dad always forgot. My, my dad birthday. will usually remember around like 4 a.m. the next day. And then uh, yeah. will like that's send me, thing, he'll send me money and just be like, Amanda's birthday as the message. Which, I mean, mm. fine. Good enough. Um, Yeah, I'll... Uh, <laughs> I'll always remember my, my 16th birthday. Entire family forgot. And then my mom, when she came 16? home from work, she remember. Sweet 16 and never been kissed. Uh-huh. And uh my mom came home and she had a single Mylar balloon that she got at Factory Card Outlet Amanda, oh, which is no. now Party City. Walked into the family room, only ceiling fan in the house. <laughs> it was like in that moment, I'm like, well, here we go. There it is. And there it is. <laughs> yeah. Great. It was great. Great. Okay. I okay. I gotta see the rest of this here. Okay, let's get into this. I'm just putting this down. God, we're Coyote Pass Monza. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I just I times we're looking at. I'm refreshing this really quick to see if any more people liked liked my comment. Oh. Everyone's got birthday. Yeah, 29, issues. Yep. 29 likes. Oh, <laughs> you guys, it's getting blue up in Cody and Brown's viral. <laughs> right. Oh, this is Hang a on. good point. Cody literally has to hate Gabe for mentioning this. That goes to show how deep that drama is between Cody and Gabe for Gabe to basically go nuclear and shame Cody publicly. Yeah. Yeah. 
he's you forgot your son's birthday. So There's no excuse for that. And then he called back late. And God, just that he said, that's the last time I ever talked to my dad. That sucks. Well, it should be like you, it's at a but certain point, like, like how many more it. times there needs to be a, yeah. Cause Cody is blatantly mean to Gabe. He's cruel to him. So at some point yeah. I hate that you have to set boundaries that young well, with your dad, Jerry, but he disrespects him for his COVID-19 protocols. Oh, well, it's probably like with women, like men don't like children who don't respect them. They can't love children who don't respect them. Right. And he didn't, he didn't strip, he couldn't roll the log close enough to the yeah. other logs. Yeah. That one scene. Yep. My lighting is like, even with really the visor and the, and the glove work, you know? <sighs> okay. Here we go. Oh my God, the slow drone. Oh, okay. Skip ahead 10 sacks. No. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 10. All right. We're at 28 12. Ooh, oh, Ma oh, Mary's house. Whoa. Did you know Mary wow. was in this show? This is crazy. She's Mary. in the trees. Her, her house is in the trees, so we didn't really see. No her. light. No light. Mm. Not enough light. I mm. had sent Robin a text. I'm like, hey, how are you feeling? Whoa, Mary. She's like, she's like, I sent Mary a text. <laughs> Exactly. And her it was eyeshadow. Weird. Here. <laughs> it's this. Yeah. Her eyeshadow, <laughs> her eye work is whoa. Not great. That's a lot. Okay. Not great. Got that bean bag in the corner. No, Look at bean bags. I'm like, you do? You do. Dayton had it. And she said mm -hmm. that Cody was having symptoms. And I asked how the little kids were. They're not little. There are not little kids. God. There, are no, there are no little Stop kids that exist. Feeding in this into this. God, they are not freaking little. Sorry. Oh, let's see. Ooh, we're getting. Look how close up to the camera she is. Oh, yeah. Jody, she you want us you to really, see that eye. You really do resemble her. <gasps> I knew. I told you. I look like, like her. You really resemble her a lot. Can you can you do mm -hmm. this? Well, that's my natural face, apparently. No, 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 no. You're like, yeah. Do the do the do the. <laughs> I go cross-eyed. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Um, and you know, she said that they're also you're beautiful, and Mary is not. Shut so up, just, I look like Mary, you, except I have a horse in your face. I resemble Mr. Bean and Kathy no, and Jimmy. You don't, well, that Midler you. and a horse. <laughs> Wait, who's my, Rachel Draft? Is my other one that I got. I you, sometimes if they were okay, like you could tell she was having a hard time just speaking, like she was exhausted. Oh, she, Mary. <gasps> Hi, oh, Mary. Well, they couldn't have the nanny over, Amanda. So she had to take care of her own children when they're sick. She's exhausted. exhausted. All those little kids. Oh. As Cindy Peterson says, Jody, you do not have a horse face. No, but nobody's I, I telling me I don't look I, like Mr. Bean. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Oh, no, she also care. said the same thing. Uh, I or oh, thank you, Cindy. In a couple of days. Ew, well, you don't need to tell I us that. Wait, listen to this. I feel like I did a deadlift workout because my gluteus maximus <clears throat> the bottom and the backs of my thighs and between my shoulder blades and these trapezius muscles are all <laughs> aching terribly. Like, I... I cackled. Latrice was sleeping on my head and she jumped off my head because I cackled so loud and she was surprised. Like, come out and listen to it again. My gluteus maximus, which is the lower parts of your thighs. Right, yeah, now I'm rewinding it. 
Okay, I'm going to 2902. He's such a dork. I heard all over. I feel like I did a deadlift workout because my gluteus maximus <laughs> bottom and the backs of my thighs and between my shoulder blades and these trapezius muscles are all aching terribly. Gluteus maximus is your ass, right? Your yeah, no, he's hitting my bottom. He, he, you didn't, Jody. You're a woman, oh. so you didn't. Well, you he also said um, these trapezius. So he's trying to say like, look at these traps. Oh my god, you freaking loser! Dork. Just, just say, I have body chills. I have aches and pains. I have aches and pains. Aches and pains. Exactly. I'm restless. I have aches and pains. <laughs> what a dork! God. He's talking like, about okay, actual muscles. There's something muscles. that you're going oh. to see in like the last minute of this that is going to be the best moment of your entire life. Okay, okay. Because it's God, so he, random. He, wishes, and... he was, um, is it like physiology or anatomy or whatever? He wishes. Oh my God, you know what? He's got such that douchebag high school PE teacher energy. Like that total douchebag like measuring your your body fat with calipers in front of the whole class, which that happened to me in my sophomore year of high school. Mr. Calipari was a huge dick about it. And as we know, my arms are the fattest part of my body, along with everything else, except I have really your good arms are fine. And no. um uh, a dare um, okay. Becker you guys are says very Jody is sweet. way prettier Thank than you. No, we we know that I there you can resemble somebody without being ugly. <laughs> like, Thanks. There's just, I mean, when you you dressed up as Mary for Halloween and you genuinely <laughs> look like, her. I think I um, genuinely look like Robin too. Actually, it just reminded me, uh, Kimberly. I I'm pulling this up here right now. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, on our Patreon episode that we did, uh, or that I came out with Kimberly and Kim from People Are Wild podcast, we started talking about Tybo. You know. Cody was totally into Tybo in Christine's basement apartment, moving out all the furniture so he could get his Tybo on. And he thought he was bad ass. Bad ass. Like he was just like, I'm going to go do my Billy downstairs. <laughs> hey, and if you kids want to watch me do my, my Tybo, I definitely feel it. Okay. Well, uh, I was right, but like on and dating apps. I mean, you'll eventually never i'm, I'm no, sure you're thrilled never. but um but whenever i see like what if somebody's picture is them standing like in front of like a like at planet fitness in the mirror like flexing ew. i'm like Gross. nope ew who does i don't that? i love i love if you work out like that's great like i never look healthy. at myself in the mirror like this is torture to have to have this up because i can see my big face over here yeah, I know. I'm really hating my lighting and my hair. Shut right up. Now. Shut up. You shut up. Oh, he right, totally bought a Bowflex. You're so right. Didn't yep. they have a Bowflex in Janelle's house? Because he was like pulling. They hung the. Uh, oh, you're right. They hung the disco ball on it. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Oh, he wishes he could do Billy downstairs. <laughs> I love this. The whole family, with the exception of Laura, got COVID. Aurora never oh, how did that bitch look at quarantine from the family? As soon as she saw that we were sick, she went down into her room, shut the door, and stayed there. There's a downstairs basement door to the outside, so anytime I left, I would go straight through there. Quarantining from my family and not being able to see them was very isolating and lonely. Hey, you're Aurora, fine. you're fine. Oh, that You're must be really rough to have your own basement apartment that you can go in and out of. That looked like it was like AstroTurf and that must be really tough. Mm. Also, at this point, so I, sad. I was so feel like it's sad. almost like chicken pox. Just go get COVID yeah. at this point. How Just go old get it, are you? Out. How old are right? you? You are fine. Do you think Cody like carried me downstairs? Oh my god. Basement daughter Nicole says that's yeah. good. Bye bye. She's Again, stunted. Her kids are so weird. This show has turned us all into COVID deniers. And I hate that. 
because yeah. I believe that COVID does exist. Yeah. It like yep. did kill people. Yeah. But good God. Oh God. She's so annoying. Aurora, grow up. You're Somewhere an adult. The line, there's this one night when Aurora comes Watch upstairs this. and she's like looking at us. She's in a mask 10 feet away from us. I miss you guys. And we're just sobbing. Like, yeah, Aurora, I miss you too. It's been like 10 days. <gasps> I didn't feel like Aurora could afford to miss school and I didn't feel like she could afford to get COVID. So let's break that down. Wait, the wait, situation wait, wait, that wait. Just happened. So he was saying that they were sitting there in the living room and Aurora came up and was sobbing. I Robin. miss you guys. And we were like, we miss we're you. We're all too. sobbing. You're in the same room together, though. Right. You can. Uh... Well, she's also, not tender she... age. Also, she's an adult. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right. And, um, we are so 10 days she couldn't afford to miss school and what so she wasn't going to school because she had to be because she was in close contact right but she couldn't be with the family the family oh no oh, well no. she could probably go hang out with her um brother and sister like the rest of the family right wait but is it oh even they should come school? to her they should she wasn't even her. in school she already graduated well, then she really should go bye bye because she's an adult. Yeah. Right. right. Get out of the house if you're not going to school. That was Cody's rule, right? Um, yeah. Why doesn't she go hang out with like Janelle, Savannah, Gabe, any of them? Oh, no. well, don't touch them. Right. Um, also, so he missed Aurora, who is in the house. Does he miss any of his other kids that he hasn't seen? Who are huh. like miles and hundreds and thousands of miles away. Even Caleb. No. That's how pissed he is that he won't even see Caleb. Doesn't miss any of his other kids, but he misses Aurora sobbing. Sobbing. Because he misses her. I'd be like, you need to really grow up. You need to like get some she's friends. She's in the basement. Yeah, she's she's downstairs. You can stomp your foot and she could like. <laughs> you can do SOS to each other. Yeah, what the hell? Like call a friend or something, loser. Right? <laughs> right. I mean, this is so weird. And also like Aurora's not that Christine cool. Christine like, and Mary have not had COVID. At least none that they were aware of. I do think it's interesting that they, Robin and he, isolated. It's just the scene of Janelle do walking her dogs Christine on these and Mary have two, been... on these two extensively extendable long. leashes. <laughs> it looks like she's like doing the rope thing, like the. It like does. It looks like she's doing this. Yeah, sure. Oh my god! One of those things runs around her, and she's going down. At least none that they were aware of. I do think it's interesting that they, Robin and he, isolated themselves for so long. And then it was actually one of their kids who brought it home <laughs> to them from school. And I just think that's the way this, this thing works. I'm beginning to understand COVID is just one of those things. You can do everything you can, but you're going to probably get it. Yeah, I haven't had COVID. I've never gotten it. Um, I think it's just this, it almost feels like it's just this chance thing at this point because we're Robin and Cody are so 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 careful and I'm not as careful as them Robin's really really sick and Cody's really sick and so I don't even know who takes care of who there I have no idea the nanny actually uh Ariola could probably take care of everyone at this point because she's like 27 years old oh she's a pest Oh, being a pest. She was just trying to help and take care of the little girl. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what to think. I don't even know what to do. Like I want to go. What do you know, Mary? Go. Shut up. And yet I can't go over there. So I just kind of text her every once in a while, and I'm just like, how's things going? <laughs> At this point, after it's having dry oh, to oh, me. cough, 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 cough. cough. It's not even a congested cough. Yeah, no. That's that's absolutely it. A... I'm just <clears> so <throat> annoyed by it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm reading all your comments over here. <clears throat> I mean, it's just so not anything <laughs> urgent. 
Emily says, I would have to take a lot of acting classes to convince anyone I missed Aurora, right? <laughs> we oh. were sobbing. Just I mean, if I was upstairs, I would be doing Robin too. <clears throat> you better stay downstairs, Aurora. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're still sick yet. up here. We're still sick. <laughs> exactly. I went for a week. I can't I breathe very well. What? You're talking fine. Brienne is feeling quite a bit better. And Dayton's kind of coming out of it too. Robin's not improving. She's not improving. And finally, our doctor just says, take her to the hospital. People go to the oh. hospital that die. The, He's like, stop oh, calling yeah. me. If it's that bad, go to the hospital. Yeah. That's what the, the doctor's, doctor's like, no, just go. And I doubt the doctor called. It was the doctor's nurse who got the call. And they're probably like, okay, if she really can't breathe, she's not getting better. Just have her go to the hospital, which is probably the worst place to go because people who actually have bad cases of COVID are going to be in there. Oh, wait till you and see you're them. You're certainly picking something up. Okay. I was crying and praying and of course I was, you were like scared that she might die. Oh my God. Jesus. So She's dramatic. not. She's clearly fine. She has the flu. <sighs> Thank you. <God>. <laughs> yeah. Who is this doctor? What? This is the same doctor that gave him the COVID-19 protocol. Oh, right, right, right. His doctor Weird friend. this doctor didn't say like, if you want to follow all the protocols, you could get the vaccine because if you get COVID, the likelihood that you would have to go to the hospital like Robin would be reduced. Mm. Okay. Also, um, uh, the wrong shoes. Don't hate to say it. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I think Robin and Cody totally exaggerated Robin's condition. Yeah. 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 It's because Robin is Obviously. super lazy. And she's like, you know what? I really don't feel like getting out of this bed. <clears throat> cough, oh cough. Yes. Can we get the ER team to come to the tell-all? Please. That would be great. Great. <sighs> I didn't want to say goodbye to my kids. Oh my God. I didn't want to say goodbye because I didn't want it to be the last time I saw them. You are fine. Then you Robin. should have gotten the vaccine if you were worried about someday getting it and right. it being that severe. Right. <sighs> and it's not even severe. She I was, was, I was, she was sicker talking. than she is when Her I had COVID. Were rosy. Yeah. She had rosy. Ro she had a rosy glow. She looked. She looks the best she's ever looked here. Never looked better. Never looked better. <laughs> God, I'm sure the ER staff was thrilled when she walked in there on her own. Going, doctor. Oh, another car. Oh, oh yeah, different one. Different one now. That. Uh, interesting. They wouldn't let me go in with her. No, blue as can be. He's blue, blue, blue as can be. <laughs> Again, he has a, a vocabulary of 50 words. I'm blue. I'm so I'm blue. blue. My wife might die, even though she's not going to. She's like, <sighs> So it's only one person at a time, and I kind of wish I'd admitted myself, you know, because I do have <gasps> it. No doubt about that. And maybe I need a chest x ray. Oh my God. You know, my nights of sleep and my breathing sort of suck. But I knew that they just. Hey, Cody. Oh, good. You're he fine. Wants, he wants an x ray. He's trying to like one up even Robin. Maybe I need a point. chest x ray. I mean, I have it, no doubt yeah, about thanks that. for I'm driving kind of all of our insurance premiums up because assholes like you are right. going in there when you're fine. And then you're going to skip out on the bill and all that bullshit. Oh, my. And this is coming it, from Jody, whose son goes for like, what, twice a week infusions? Uh, well, this week it's three, but yeah, like, yeah, at Ugh. least once a month, all that kind of bullshit. Okay. Like, how so, pissed um, off does this make you that he's admitting that he was planning, like, he was like, well, I might as well, I was thinking about, uh, pretending like I was sicker than I was so I could be with Robin. Yeah. Almost like he, uh, he wants to go into the hospital here, but he didn't want to do that. He wasn't willing to risk getting COVID when Isabel was in the hospital. Oh, but now no. he's voluntarily it's a different time, to go to the hospital. Well, he has tender age. That's insane. Home. I mean, yeah. there's so many other things that he really did about the whole Isabel situation. But this right here is so, he can't 
twist this any other way. Yeah, this all, we could get sick at the hospital and then we'd have to quarantine and all that. Okay, so what you, you're willing to do that. You're willing to get worse. Yeah willing to have to get a chest x-ray oh it must be very serious yeah he's x-ray. willing to go in and spread his COVID. he's willing around. to go into the covid wing for robin but he wouldn't go to support oh God, i would love the hospital. to see the like text and voicemail conversation between her and him while he's waiting in the in the parking lot she's like oh do you mm. I you cough the love three of my times. life you are the I patriarch cough, you are my king cody do you think she sent? Do you think she sent recordings of her moaning and pain? Going, oh. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> you want me to play it? Do you want to play what that would sound like, or no? No, uh, oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. Separate us. So she Separate see how she us. fares. How she fares. I was feeling worse. I'd probably have myself. I'd check myself in. You know, it seems like a busy hospital. Seems like- yeah, probably. There's probably people with actual like diseases. And it might be people them. who like didn't get the vaccine when the CDC was recommending it, and now they have COVID, and now they want to be rushed in first <laughs> because now yeah. they're sick. Right. Yeah, maybe Cody. Maybe. And also, you know, he's not checking himself in because who's going to take care of the tender age children? It's a busy who's hospital. Be there? Jody. I mean, her her adult children can't take care of the sick. little ones. And there's people that might be dying. Or- Robin, who's, uh, you know, passing out. <laughs> passing oh, now she's out. passing out. How is that now different than her she... daily life, though? We didn't hear what, about her passing out her before. Life? Doesn't she just spend all day on the couch watching QVC Wait, did... and passing out? Wait, did he really just say I th- he thought about playing sick, but there's people in there who are actually sick or dying? He's a hero. Wow. I just want to, yeah, this is a very insensitive edit for people who actually lost people in COVID. It is. Let's see what's going on. Well, Jennifer, you have to remember Robin was like almost passing out. So. She was tired. Mm. You're probably tired because you have a thyroid condition, Robin. Go get that checked out, for God's sake. Well, I sympathize with COVID in this fight for having to spend so much time with the Browns. Apologies. She just said COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He didn't say she was passing out before. I think six, seven hours. Yeah. So you've been in the hospital for six, seven hours. I wonder why. Clearly, you're fine because otherwise Tri- you'd be on a ventilator in the ER, where like people yeah. who are actually need help before you go first. Yeah. That's why you were waiting so long. And also, the reason they don't have a lot of beds is because again, people who didn't get the vaccine, who are saying they're so committed to CDC protocols, who didn't get it, are now sick, and now you're jamming up the rooms again. You freaking selfish idiot. Like, like, can you imagine the nurse that first treated Robin? Like, oh, you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're good, though. Are you vaccinated? No, no, but I think I have. Oh, really? Okay, so you weren't. So let me get How many? So who... you cough four times. Uh, okay, so I'll write that down and I'll get a doctor to you. Yeah, again. And I'm really not trying to be like, politicize the vaccine no here, but again we don't even care if you I got know, the I know, vaccine I just, but like good god i just want to put it out there that like they're so pick and choose what it is yes and they're backed up and have a lot of beds i don't know what to for people who aren't sick she forgot that part. a truck there's nothing i can do i can't i'm not going to be in the hospital with her they wouldn't let me wait there with her wouldn't let me go with her didn't know what to do so after quite a while i Get on the phone with her. She sounds pretty bad. I'm like, she oh, says, I'm sitting fine here. Me. Sitting here. She's just she says, I'm away. sitting here. I'm sitting here wasting away. This is unbelievable. Um, and chest x ray. Um, I'm her stupid purple, purple fear of Bradley. You see how much she's fucking acting here? She's like, I'm going to. Well, they took a 
Chest x-ray. Again, you don't have any Shut oxygen up. on you. You're fine. You sound a little congested. Not, she doesn't even sound congested. A little bit. Like here, let's see. The chest x-ray is to cover their butts and she's insisting she's passing out. Yes, and not improving, even though the physical evidence says you're fine. Same with the EKG. That's, the, that's the only reason yep. they did an EKG is because she probably said yeah. that like her Are you feeling dizzy? Okay. And then they put the little thing on your finger. And, and yeah. Anyone in the medical field, tell me if I'm wrong, that measures your blood oxygen. They probably said, you're fine. We're going to go give that oxygen to people who actually need it. And we'll get you stable. They probably gave her, who knows, like, a well, no, they couldn't give you a steroid because that could make it worse. So they're probably like, yeah, you're just going to have to, you know, deal with it until you're over it. Falling asleep, not passing out. Yeah, Tiffany, exactly. What is this? So if you don't believe in the science behind the vaccine, then do you believe in the science behind the care yep. meds that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly the argument that you give to people. Yeah. Oh, you don't believe in the vaccine? Well, then don't believe in the medicine that's going to treat COVID then. Bye-bye. Right. Well, he's got that best friend, his doctor friend. He has so many friends. Yeah, I yeah. I think yeah. that I was sitting there and wondering if she was going to live. God, you're so dramatic. Like I'm yeah, good panicking. God. So the doctor came in. He said my lungs sound like COVID. She could get worse. She could get better. We just didn't know. So there's still that. God, you are all... Fucking fine. I can't with this family. Yeah, Jeez. so maybe. To think about, which was scary. God. Didn't she give birth at home? And yeah. that was like no medical intervention, but like so now they need it. Oh, yeah, no, we watched it. <clears throat> he said my lungs sound like COVID. It's in them, but they knew that. She could get worse. She could get better. We just didn't know. So there's still that to think about, which was scary. Oh, wait, 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 wait. to talk is just a struggle. So don't talk. I just can't get the oxygen in. It hurts to take deep breaths. Yeah, that's you what getting COVID flu. is called. Yeah, you have COVID, yeah. You and that's why flu. we said, like, oh, if you really want to follow all your protocols, go get the vaccine then. And you would have been fine. And you're still fine, as everyone's saying. They're not even giving you oxygen. But I did have the vaccine and my symptoms were worse than this. She's freaking okay. But you weren't like super crazy COVID-19 protocol girl either. Well, obviously. Yeah, let, yeah. Did good. they actually test positive the for it? Was good. Her x-rays look what was that good? Go oh, so you're not even staying. Interesting. I was so relieved when all of my tests were coming back is like, like, yes, you have COVID. Yes, your lungs sound yucky, but you're okay. Yucky. Yes. So, so your, your tests words, were coming back as. Hey, all together now, your yes, x-rays, yeah, your x-rays were good. You're taking up a bed. Your EKG yeah. was good. But she definitely said she was relieved that they were coming back, that she did have COVID. Just because then that gives her the chance to say that she has COVID. Yeah. God. Yeah. I would be like, hey, as long as you're here, can you check something out? Something in this region right here. Run some tests on the goit. Um, this is, yeah. It, I mean, just every, every, everyone is just saying, like, she was never on oxygen. She was never on anything. She was basically just taking up a bed and being dramatic. Yeah, absolutely. Just because she was released doesn't mean she couldn't get worse. Oh. So I was still very concerned, still praying a lot. You're Slowly, stupid, Aurora. I getting better. I think um. God that we're okay. When Robin gets back from the hospital, she seemed a little bit better. I've gotten well. worse. Oh, now it's his turn. Oh, now Cordy is sick. Oh. It's the man's time to be yep, dramatic. Yep. God, they love this. I've said from the beginning, the three people in the U.S. that have loved COVID the most and used it to their advantage, Robin, Cody, Steve Bannon. Bada boom, bada bing. There you go. They love it. They're milking it for everything. I can't focus or concentrate. 
You've never been able to. Well, you, you don't. You don't have to concentrate on anything because you don't have what's it called? Uh, job. Uh, right, 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 right. A lot more with his sleep than uh -oh. I was. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. I've talked to Cody on the We got phone. hot photos He's of really uh, girls for X Y Z. Oh no. <laughs> Let's block that user. <laughs> oh, hot photo alert. <laughs> All right. I have an Sorry. element of anxiety. Just, okay, just keep your... Because we're getting to the end of the episode. Okay. You're about to see something Aww. just hilariously funny that you're going to, like, okay. guffaw at. Mind, okay. Not only, like, in a brain fog, I feel stupid. <laughs> My dad is a super like energetic, happy guy. It's not your dad. Happy, yeah. By the way, and also he's I've yeah. never he's seen. He's so happy. energetic. <laughs> never seen him happy. And look, I'm also not saying that adopted kids. That doesn't mean that that's not your dad. I mean that Cody specifically is not right. your dad because they have because a dad their dad actually was fighting to stay in their lives. Right. right. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. open mouth kiss him. And they're related to him already because they're third cousins. <laughs> they're his sweeties. Yes. Yeah, it's his time. I'm but sick. when he got COVID, he was really different because sorry. So oh, how much how Robin was that? Sorry. <gasps> I just I can't. Oh my god, the look, the drama. Oh. He's getting really depressed. I think what? that COVID is actually stripping away Cody's perpetual sunshine that he has in his life where he sees <laughs> That's rich. He's on yeah. domestic glasses. I mean, when, when I think of when? like a super positive person that's just always on the right side of uh happiness i'm walking on around. sunshine oh, <laughs> yeah um the only time cody's op optimistic is when he's applying for a new mortgage or a new loan That's or when he or that. when he's around men an hour-long shower with guys <laughs> okay <laughs> a guy's afternoon in yes. thank you sj Thank you, SJ. Oh Smash God. that like! Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Cody has never suffered from any kind of low feelings. He's always been a very optimistic, very move forward, can do kind of person. It worried yeah. me a little bit because he was not that. He was anxious. He was emotional. I was really worried about him. It has been three and a half weeks since I got COVID. Oh. And I thank God that I am feeling so much better. I just oh, so it. I just beat it. He beat oh, it. Oh, oh, he let, beat it. let's get a uh, like a ribbon, like a right. breast cancer ribbon, because Cody beat it. He survived. He just oh, my fought God. it. Me, I, mean, I just did it. Oh God. Hey, I I broke through COVID in four days. Cody, it took. Cody somehow three fucking weeks. He's like, well, I, I, I just, uh, I survived just, uh, it three and a half I weeks. Just, oh, so it's almost as if you just have to wait vaccinated. it out or you get just, vaccinated. Oh, or, <laughs> you, right. Or like you just push through and you don't go to the ER. Mm, okay. Michael Jackson just beat it. <laughs> yeah. um, Melanie says at the end of the day, their birth father gave up custody for those kids. He could have fought for them. I think. Uh, there is an NDA that it will expire soon. That's what I've heard. And yeah, that he did I've heard that as well. For them. And Who I think they just kind of had them in a he. They had him in a noose of like they had all this money. He owed a bunch of child support, which I mean, yeah. I'm sure he was a deadbeat dad, but he's still he's still in the kid's life. And they still sent the kids with him but that he's also well, very abusive sent them. they terrible. would drive they would drive her 16 hours to drop them off there and then stay for two weeks yeah yeah but i mean, I mean I don't, robin I don't think... tried hers was the worst marriage and worst divorce no one no else one's get... ever had a bad marriage like no robin. one else should get divorced only, no, only robin just robin yeah so abusive quality yep yep but i agree i mean her, her the dad is probably shitty too i mean they're both 
I mean, what's the lesser of two evils here between Cody and his third cousin? Mm. It kicked my ass, but I oh. lived. I'm not running from it anymore. I don't want to socially distance anymore. It's pissing oh. me off. I'm just glad yeah. I'm out of this COVID thing. Just for being out of the anxiety, I remember driving so past kind of like Christine's your house. Kids and the rest of your family were saying for well, now that Christine and Truly are gone and he doesn't have to like deal with that. Now we won't socially distance anymore. Okay. 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 Uh, that works. That works out good. So now we're at Christine's flag stuff house. After I started he's driving by a little it. bit better, she's moved to Utah. I stopped the truck. I got out of the truck and I changed out of the hoodie that I was in into a jacket because hoodie. the hoodie was choking me from driving oh past Christine's God. house. And what is this fucking story? He's being so, choked by a hoodie. This new house, what? which by the way has new owners and tenants, is he getting a goiter? Uh, forget COVID That's why he's being contagious. I think the goiter's contagious. He's getting so he's choked. Dri he's driving by the house, which is, uh, again, ha has people probably like moving in. He pulls yep. over, gets out of the car, changes out of his He's got to get out of that. For some reason. It's very important to tell everyone this story, too. He oh, was God. choking yeah. the hoodie. Yeah. He was choking. Put on his jacket yeah. because, oh, man. I, I hate this jacket, too. This. This is so douchey. This stupid it's just a black. douchey leather jacket Aww. that like men would wear. Somebody else living there and stuff that really bothered me. I really spent a lot of time evaluating my family. I thought he hated the situation. house. He didn't want to drive by it. And no. how I messed this up. Well, at Fat Olives, I was having this conversation with Janelle. Because I was, I was basically... Shameless plug, Fat Olives. Free food for life. basically begging her to have a deeper relationship with me. How what? are you begging her? What? You made no. her sit and watch you take three bites of food before. Like, you were not In begging In no way anything. was he begging her to have a, a deeper relationship. He said, you and I haven't been married for a long time. And she said, do you want to reset and work on it? And he goes, I don't know. It sounds well, like begging to yeah. me. Sounds like begging to oh, me. He's yep. begging. He loves her so much. When she said, if this was, if the roles were reversed, would you fight this hard for me? He goes, hmm. you and me were not acting like a mar married couple for like years, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. We're at Ben Olives. Oh, here we go. Yeah, by begging, he means eat the food before it got cold. Yeah, right. Well, I mean. Ugh. Production's paying I feel so rejected by her. And what? that got me thoughtful about how I'm not dealing well. What I'm a dick. not dealing with Christine leaving, with her taking truly. You're not I'm dealing with it. I'm experiencing grief because we will never go there again. When Wait, stop. I had. He said, I don't ever want to drive by this house again. I never want to look at this house or drive by it. And now he's blue because he'll never go inside that house. No, because he's such a narcissist that he will, he's going to drive by that house. Every, well, he has to drive by the house because he has to pass by it. Down, when he comes Robertson. down from the mansion into the village. Right. right. But yes. you know that he drives by it every day and just slows down and just yep. rages. About she it. broke my heart. Yeah, she that bitch I'm and also blue. clearly janelle was at that lunch we all saw it she was like i don't know if i want to be with you and work on it anymore cody i know that you love me but i just don't know if i love you anymore that's oh, totally. we all heard that happen COVID. i'm looking at family pictures or i'm looking at my phone i'm realizing how much i didn't live i see pictures Leo. family pictures and stuff like that and start sobbing Get over it, you big baby. Sobbing about what? I also gotta love it. Yeah, I know. This is a brand new picture. And who's that in front? Is that a McKelty? That's McKelty. This looks like it's like McKelty's purity ball or something. What is this? Jesus. No one looks the same. There's Logan. Okay, so uh, this Leon. picture is Cody. This is a weird picture because Logan's the only other man here. Yeah. So it's Logan. Madison. 
Ma Madison. Madison's like with a natural hair color, I think. Yeah, looks good. Um, Aspen. Aspen, Christine. Mc this has to be a McKelty type situation, right? What do you mean? Well, let me show you guys the picture. I, it looks like it's McKelty's purity ball. He he threw he probably threw her a bat mitzvah. Ah uh, yes. Because didn't he didn't he throw Gabriel a bat a bar mitzvah? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah this is lose insane. this. Was it worth it? I've got a division with my family. I've got a divorce that happened, which no doubt in my mind, COVID was a catalyst for that. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Las Vegas. He was totally right. This was um, something we just didn't want to get. There's been so many things we missed out on. I, I now know why. It was three weeks. What'd you miss We're out on? Doing Halloween. And I'm oh my God, Jesus! You did not prepare me for that. I oh, have been preparing you for it the entire episode. Oh my God, that honest to God, that. That was a jump scare. That that no, that was perfect. where I honestly thought my neighbors might call the cops on me because it was four thirty in the morning and I was pissing my pants laughing. Oh my god! Describe what you just saw, please. Um, King Tut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he God, he loves getting made up for Halloween. He loves it. He, yeah, exactly, Ty. He could not wait to put that eyeliner on. And you know he was like a little bit more, a little bit more. Extend it a little bit more. No, a little, little more. I want to look pretty. <laughs> he looks so stupid. Fucking douche. What is with the artwork on the walls? Is that like some 3D bright Noah's Ark sort of thing? <sighs> So I mean, after all this, I mean, being terrified, guys, of COVID, you do not want to catch it again. So what do we do? Let's go door to door and collect no, Jody, items from other people. Jody, homes. Jody. Oh. oh, am I jumping to conclusions? You don't. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you're jumping to conclusions. I'm being a stupid, independent woman. You're again. giving a woman. Yeah, oh, yes, don't do that. Oh, these... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to read my notes. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. If does she Lizzie. dress up? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want to see some party. Lizzie said he doesn't every party has a poop, but that's why we invited you. <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's from uh Father of the Bride. <gasps> too, oh, I, I love Father of the Bride. All right. <laughs> All right. So do you wanna do you wanna kind of go back a little bit here? Uh yeah, let's jump back ten seconds here. I'm gonna go to 3912. Been so many oh. things I missed out on. I, I now know why. We're doing Halloween and I mean, I'm getting my candy. It's still pretty wiped out from COVID. My candy, he says. My You're candy. Also, he's still wiped out from COVID. You are fucking his gluteus maximus hurts. George Bonks. George Bonks. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what he said. He's like, oh, and um, he's like, flirk and nerk. And oh, God, I forgot. Now we have to watch that. There's like the You're whole thing. You're thinking scene. of the Swedish chef. No. Well, that, well. Okay. Anyway. Um, Every party okay, so, has a poop, but that's how, why we invited you, George Bangs. How much do you think he spent on this costume? Oh, like they bought it on Amazon for like $79.99. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, this is a pretty pricey costume. By the way, though. watch, watch, watch how far they uh, step off the oh, property okay. to uh, trick it. We're gonna have some oh, fun okay. for Halloween. So I'm dressed up as King Tut, and Rob is dressed up as Cleopatra. So what we decided to do. Oh my God, he's, he's got blush and bronzer on. Oh no, he's fully, he's lit. <laughs> this party's gonna be lit. Ew, I treating, hate this. Uh, to the four doors in the house. Wait, Did you hear that? They're going trick or treating to the four doors in the house. So they aren't actually going trick or treating. No, they're not leaving the property. The kids are gonna walk around the house and knock on each outside door. 
Well, we should definitely spend three hundred dollars on costumes for sure. Also, Cody just wants to wear makeup. Let's just like Co Cody's dressed as King Tut, and he's like, "All right, so we're um, <laughs> exactly. walking. We're walking. We're gonna go trick or treat." What do you think he he put on that on that phone to uh, make sure that he got all the right angles? Did he have it on the tripod, carrying the tripod around? Oh, he loves that tri the tripod. <laughs> okay, so they're not. No, like why? No, they're not. They can't go trick or treating to to uh, Janelle's trailer, even. Oh no, tr truly might be there. Oh God, Ariola just the definitely picked her right. ass. We've got trick or treaters. Trick or treat, huh? All right, if you got a bad one of the big things that I'm aware of is that we will never be in these. She places. definitely did pick her ass. Also, this is making me very sad for the kids because. It is a, a lot of people were saying in the comments earlier that they're just being groomed. Yes. All the kids are being groomed to be like yep. polygamous or be like let to let be dependent kids... on them. To be yeah, dependent on them. This is gross. Like this whole yeah. I don't like also, kids, but like this makes me feel terrible for it. All and of them. why Even does Ariel. Solomon look like he's eight? He's right, like why age. didn't he grow? He's Googie's age. Is he? Yes. Jesus. Yeah. He's a middle schooler. This He's is like really school. sad. They're making them trick or treat around the house at like He's dressed as like a Power Ranger. Okay. Why is Cody's dress shirt? I'm at And Ariella is of course a princess. Picking her ass. Um why is Air uh Cody's dress shirt hanging outside the house? 3958. It's the one he's wearing in the testimonials. Is it because Charlie was around? Mm, don't let her touch anything, Cody. Mm -hmm. By the way, one last time, I'm going to promote our uh, PayPal. Yeah. My car just broke down, so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, both... Ariola could be super tall, but Solomon is also very, uh, sorry, Iron Man, not a Power Ranger. Same thing. Hobbit. <laughs> Is Star that Wars. Sorry, is that something thing. different? <laughs> sorry, is that not the same thing? Well, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, I think, are related. A hundred percent. Yeah. Star oh. Trek and Star Wars. I don't know. Um, um wait, future right. imperfect just said, can I just say yeah. as the homosexual in this chat, please do not imply that Cody is gay. We do not want him on our <laughs> no team. No one wants him. We will not draft him, keep him with the straight. Did we say he was gay? Well, I mean, I think he's oh, a little he's weird about Caleb. He's weird with guys, but uh he definitely wants a guy's afternoon in. A gay. Yeah, yeah, a gay. Guy's <laughs> afternoon shower, right? But no, agreed, agreed, agreed. Okay, so let okay, let's see. Okay, so now they're going door to door. Jesus, yeah. Bring out Jan bring up the Jan Janelle would love that. They don't even have to drive anywhere. Walk down to Janelle's trailer, and right. she'll throw in a Snickers. She's probably got the good shit too. And then Solomon can change the shitter. Exactly. As long as you're down there. Places where we've got the whole bunch of us, and yeah, I don't know, maybe some. This is so happen. sad. What the fuck is happening here? Oh, you here? loser. Oh, oh my God, I mean, Robin. They're, they're trying, I guess. but okay, So I guess they needed like... A, with her stupid needed, guitar. Well, no, they needed like another door to go to. So they had So they Aurora. went to Aurora's car because she has right. her own car. Her own brand new SUV. Kids too, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And she's sitting in the back of the SUV dressed like a hippie. Yeah. And that's another door, I guess. This is so depressed. Okay. Now, Robin is Cleopatra. She look a b b b b b <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Wow. <laughs> Oof. There's also bought off of Amazon. It was bought as a set. For sure. Wait, hold on. Do you see boobs? Look no. under her little thing. Oh, I see some boobage, like a little cleave. Look, cleave. That's oh. boobs. Weird. I thought they were supposed to be like 
Whoa. And Brianna's dressed as a piece of shit. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? what? I'll, it was just I mean... really good comedic timing, because <laughs> I was like, Sorry, as Lord. I was processing brown. this, she's just <laughs> dressed in all brown. Oh, brown family. Jody says piece of shit. I it's think he's a deer, maybe. A deer? Well then put oh, antlers on. Lizzie says I think it's a dog outfit. Okay. A dog? <laughs> piece of shit. Then put like ears. She's just yeah, like all dog brown. ears. Okay, the, and and I, get like it. A, I like I like this. She's costume. got a it's smudge fine. of like Mr. Hanky on her nose. I, God, she definitely Solomon doesn't look like a like dog. A full mask on. This is so depressing. It is very like I feel bad for him because think about that. If you if some kid look, showed up to look middle in school the window, dressed like that, look in the windows oh, next to Brianna. Here. Boxes piled. Boxes everywhere. akimbo. And if you go back to Robin, go back to Robin. Go back like 10, 10 seconds. Okay. No, I saw the boobs. She looks terrible. Okay, but too. also look around the door when she opens it. Same thing. There's piles of boxes everywhere. And then just a shirt of Cody's hanging on the side of the house. It's probably just <gasps> You know like what? That must be his COVID shirt. Like ah. once he leaves the house, he changes. Ah, obviously fresh air kills the COVID on the shirts. That's what his doctor friend told him. Right, right, right. Jesus Christ. It just seems like the family's going different directions. You have this one, right? Yeah. That's actually very sad. Oh my God, Cody is really a thinking god. Uh, Joe in Salt Lake City says, "Look, uh, look. Oh wait, was that? Yeah. Uh, Joe in Salt Lake City says, look through the window. Who is that? I think that's the reflection of somebody on the crew." Wait, where? That we're seeing. It's when Brianna's opening the, the oh, door. Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. You kind of see someone, but I think that's the reflection of somebody on the crew. Why is Cody going through all this effort just I'm to wear COVID some makeup? Day. I'm kind of a party pooper. I normally would not do this kind of stuff. Oh, bullshit. Wrong, you love it. She wants to make sure the kids are having an awesome time. So, she done good. Did you hang out with uh, Savannah? For... Well, I mean, it's Halloween. Or truly, so. like that. Yeah. Oh, truly, yes. Mm -hmm. Weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're at the end of the episode. We're gonna play the next on. But my favorite, I just want to, I just want everyone to process how much the editors are clearly trolling Cody. Mm hmm. Hit smash that like. Smash Thank that you. like. Um. Like oh, the I fact also, that they yeah. added that they didn't need to include this scene in any way, but they were like, "Oh, we got this footage of Cody dressed as King." <laughs> Do you want us to? You know, Christine and Janelle cackled, oh. laughed away, especially with Robin's little uh, bare booby, little cleave right there. Looks, God, how she depressing! Really bad. Okay, so we're about to watch the next on. Uh, okay. We're gonna. There's gonna be a moment where Robin says something to Janelle, and Janelle throws her a look <gasps> that would actually make me like poop. Okay. I mean, would actually make you lay a Brianna in your pants. <laughs> poop. <laughs> a piece of shit. Brianna's dressed as a piece of shit. How would you, would it, uh, listen, if you were dressing up as something and you had on a brown shirt, brown pants, and your hair just frizzy, you think like you in would, two big pink toes. wouldn't you worry? Like, I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing all brown. I probably look like a huge turd. Wouldn't that be a natural thought that would come to your head? Yeah. Like, like why she dresses she the poop do... emoji? I think so. I think so. All right. Um, okay. You ready? Next time on Sister Wives. It's a sad thing, but I am so grateful that I am out of this. Next time on Sister Wives. This last year and a half really shattered what I thought our family was. The sense I've got is that we've failed. We don't need to fail more. You know, I don't know He's what there is to discuss. I don't want a Christine bashing fest, which is sometimes what these turn into. <gasps> I don't feel like my children are welcome. When have they not felt welcome? 
I, did you see that? Was you, when if they not feel welcome and Janelle just goes, just looks at her. Like, are you serious right now? Okay. Like, well, uh, have you ever invited our kids over? Oh, and that one time um, the whole family was here and your kids didn't know who Savannah was. We had to say, that's Savannah, <laughs> your sister. Remember when you kicked the family dog, Drake? Mm. Say his name. Remember when you publicly said on our TV show that like Hunter was a like bad kid and he was mean to you because right. he didn't want to like cuddle up next to baby Solomon when he had placenta all over him. Except then he did and yeah, became he did. like his sole caregiver after that. I wouldn't want to go into a room that smelled like birth when my new mommy is laying there. Like, ugh, gross. I don't want to go into a room that smells like Robin. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe the kids didn't feel welcome there because there's shit everywhere. Think that Janelle has pit me against the boys. You guys are gonna have to weigh in on this. I'm not gonna shoulder this whole damn thing. So now he's looking for reinforcement from Robin and Mary. <gasps> you know what? Everybody put the on me. This is the same old, same old. Why is he wearing work gloves he, in this scene? He loves working a work glove because he, he he's, looks, he's rugged. He's tough. Mm. He's like, because I'm gonna have to put a piece of wood on this little fire table here. Man. Also in that little in that little when they it just glazed over Robin and Mary sitting there, my first thought was, Oh yeah, Mary. Oh, I thought it was gonna be, oh Jody, you look like Mary. That was the second <laughs> thought. Okay, let's see. Oh, Janelle's getting up. Janelle's like, Oh, looks like it's gonna rain. I'm gonna go. Did you ever have any empathy for me? When you're in pain, I try to understand you. Janelle, this is a really bad idea for you to walk off on this one. Oh, oh, it. I mean, I, I was gonna say something, but I forgot that men always know better than us. Like it's we get a bad, it would be a bad idea, Janelle. Don't do it. We get like emotional, and then we're like, oh god, we should just listen to men. They're just like much more like rational. They think things through all the way. Well, they're smart. They have more brain cells. They're they're uh, what's oh, it? Called? Right. The frontal lobe is more developed. The frontal than lobe, are. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, this is our longest one yet. Four Ooh. hours and ten minutes. I'm oh, going to Amanda. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thanks for, thanks for being. That, that was pretty good. I mean, I'm definitely going to watch this again. I'm going to go through. Except I, game, I'm not watching that jump scare. <laughs> with the, with the King Tut. That was so scary. Oh, okay. wait, do they have next week yet? <laughs> What? There's uh, no preview not, or no yeah, like probably. little description yet, yeah. right? No, there is. I sent it to you, Jody. Is there a name for it yet, though? Yes. <gasps> okay, okay. Hold on. Season yeah, 17, to, Amanda. Season 17, Sister Wives. Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. I sent you a TikTok of it. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, here we go. Uh, wait, no. <laughs> okay, never mind. Shh, shh. Wait, wait, wait. There wait, is wait, a description wait. somewhere. Yeah, hold on. I think uh, I might have a title. <laughs> um. Okay, 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 okay. In the meanwhile, we got the schmerg here. We got the schmerg. Little tiny schmerk. Oh, I like froze up. My thing froze up. <gasps> okay, enough with the Look. drum scares today, Amanda. <laughs> She's so pretty. Very. Okay, she is snuggle. very pretty, but you know how allergic I am. <clears throat> cough. 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 Oh, oh, thank you, oh, Date with Dateline. Thank you, Date with Dateline. Okay. Latrice is very cute. I just know that she doesn't like me. I just can feel it in my heart. My little baby. Oh my god, my face would like <laughs> pop like a pimple. I'm gonna rub my cat. Uh, that's what they say, babe, but it's not true. Um, welcome to the priesthood, Jody and Amanda. Okay, uh, flip her off, Amanda. Mm, I don't know. Allergies can be pretty. Oh, don't. She drew blood the other day on you. Yes, sir. Um, or the other, yeah. She okay, love you guys so much. We'll be back later this week with lots of TRP stuff, and we're going on to season five on our Patreon. 
you can click those little links and for trp it's gonna be a crazy week we have it's gonna be weird the sesame street new year's special bash from like yeah. 1989 and then i assign drunk history to amanda with her favorite Alan Manuel miranda hey mr Sondheim. Sondheim, look i made a hat where there never was a hat and a latin hat at that <laughs> All right. Anything else, Amanda, before we wrap it up? No. The, I, oh, I had fun. This was the best episode of reality TV I've ever seen. Once it was again. really good. I mean, awesome. Let's hope, let's all cross our fingers next week isn't the last episode. If we can get us well, through there the video, that'd be all. amazing. Yeah. Everyone join us okay. again. And thanks all for listening. And, you know, watch, just watch this little exit thing yeah. that I made. Because <laughs> shut up. All right, love y'all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, or even a comment, and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon, where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and We Love to Hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>